<laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Dusty Book Sniffers and reading whenever. Um, I think I have got an echo. Let me just close down all the YouTube. <laughs> I don't know because I'm using this. No, no, no. I had I had YouTube open. I think I don't know. But anyway, no, I am not going to say. Well, I was saying welcome to the neighborhood. I will deafen the people. <laughs> I probably need to get some headphones. It's uh, I'm I'm not too sure, but anyway, I've got headphones in because I can't hear anything. Um, if it's plugged in, so if you can't hear us, Coda, then maybe you need to do that. I can hear you. I'm just wondering okay. if I'm causing an echo because your voice is coming out of my computer. Uh, yes. So if you've got headphones, just plug them in to the speaker. That should stop that. But it also means that you won't be able to hear anything. So, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> so either no microphone today until you can get set up. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Anyway, welcome everybody. We were just having some tech issues in the background. Um, Neva has her microphone and you can hear us okay? Okay, I'm guessing that was yes, I can hear you okay because it just scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> it's loud. All right, how is everybody in the comments today? Neva's just going to sort herself out. Coda's just going to sort themselves out. I am having a fabulous day. We are here to do our pages for Harry Potter number six. So we are going to the, uh, we're starting at uh, chapter 12. Is that right? And we're going to, let me just have a look. It is all over in the Discord if you need a Discord. Um, like if you haven't joined, join that. And um, we're going to chapter 17 today. So a little bit of reading. Um, and then I am going to continue on with, a women's prize for fiction and also Rebecca. Where are you at, any, Rebecca? Um, I have not progressed anywhere from when I went to sleep the other night, so I'm still on Chapter 11. Hey, I start. we're like caught up now. I just made it to Chapter 12, barely. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, think, I think I'm about, um, I think I've j I'm about two pages into Chapter 11, so I'm um, on that. But I'll be doing that later this afternoon because I do have to get a women's prize for fiction one done because... Yesterday, um, I listened to uh, Western Lane and most of this, and I've only got two hours left of it at the current speed, so I'll get that done in two sprints, and then I'll go on to Rebecca a bit later. But, yeah. And how is everybody? Are we all set up with our mics and technology and everything now? Oh, um, yeah. Here. Cool. Yeah, I took it, I took it apart. So we're I ready. was... I, the reason that I jumped like that is because I had to, like, switch everything over yeah, I was still muted. Like I had to switch everything, like to run through my headphones. But when I ran it through my headphones, I don't know if I did this or somebody was messing with my mic. But the volume on my microphone was all the way up, so I was like, <laughs> sound like Nicole was screaming in my ear. <laughs> and I talk naturally loud anyway. <laughs> so coming from a European family, this is a prerequisite to be born into a, a European family, you or any family that is bilingual or anything like that, you need to speak loud to be heard. <laughs> I wonder what my case is then. <laughs> oh, mine is, mine is definitely that they're bilingual and also that my dad is deaf. So we're just yeah. constantly screaming at each other. Yeah. I'm just naturally loud. Mm, I'm like, oh, code is here. <laughs> I'm like down the block. <laughs> I, 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 I tend to lull everybody into a false sense of security mm. and I'm nice and, and quiet and subdued when you first meet me. And then once I get to know you and I feel comfortable with you, look out, put the earplugs in because this, this bitch is loud. <laughs> it's <Jack> the box. <laughs> <laughs> It is a bit like that. So, what um, we're all reading Harry Potter this morning, or are you reading something else, um, Neva? Okay, so I'm starting with Harry Potter. Uh, yep. I did catch up on my pages. I'm always behind on Sundays. Like, I never get caught up until like right before we're supposed to be friends. It's fine. Okay, mm -hmm. it's fine. Um, but I am reading Harry Potter, and then I'm going to be finishing the wedding proposal, and then I'm going to be kind of just focusing on short books for mm -hmm. 30 and 30 so I can finish that this weekend. Awesome. Awesome. So I have just a few like rant. I, I will like change the little heading thing every time I change a book mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. I don't, I have a bunch on like audible that are audible originals through my yeah. 
subscription and i'm just gonna do those like none of them are more than a couple hours long so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how far behind are you um this book the wedding proposal will make book 20 okay and we're on day i can tell you like what day we're on hold on so we're on day 26 mm -hmm. so uh, lost so audio to catch up and then be on tr can you hear me now yes i can welcome okay. back <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, so we're on day 26 and I'm, this would be book 20. So I really only need to consume like six short books. There's no cap on like how long they have to be. Okay, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. like Brittany, I know is like doing manga. I've done a bunch of like really short books. Um, so I really only need about like six short books mm -hmm. to, to be caught up and then like start fresh tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm going to try to do that. It sounds like you've been having a lot of fun with it, though, even though you've been a little bit behind. It sounds like it's a lot of yeah. fun. Well, in some of these books have been like longer books. I We also counted books that we already were reading. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like the first book that counted for this was Daisy Hates. Yeah. Um, and then like I counted like Butcher and Black or like I counted like a bunch of books um, that I had already been reading anyways. So, well, technically, you finished during that time, so right, yeah, mm. mm -hmm. so. that's fair. That's fair. Um, what about you, Coda? What is on the agenda for you today <clears throat> or um, this Harry, evening? Harry Potter first, for sure. Yep. I need to probably think about doing some chores around here. I mean, I thought about it all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a thought that counts, right? <laughs> I, mean, I think I at least moved like two things from one room to another. <laughs> So, oh, and you shared and you shared what you're doing with Neva and I by sending pictures. So that's pro that's productive. That I did yesterday. I also, <laughs> I also thought well, you didn't about have to admit that because I only got it today. So technically, it happened today. <laughs> so well, there. The point is, there are things I could be doing while listening to Harry Potter. So okay. I'll start with the usual things that I do, which is like the dishwasher, dishes. yeah, the kitchen, and ordering type yeah. food. Yeah. And then we'll see what develops after that. Mm -hmm. I watched mm -hmm. a lot of TV last night, so I need mm -hmm. to read Rebecca today until I pass out after her. Yeah, fair. That's fair. That's fair. I also keep started keep... this uh, graphic novel called Castle Swimmer. It's like, yeah. it... it's listed as LGBTQ+, and it's about a male mermaid. So I'm very nice. about halfway through, and it's, it's cute. <laughs> I haven't decided it... yet. For kids or for adults yet? So, <laughs> um, so this is from Net Galley, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, cool, awesome. Yeah. Um, so the question is, I went to sleep after your sprints the other night. How did they go? How was it? Was it a lot of fun? Um, I've seen that lots of people popped in and whatnot. So, who ended up coming in? Um, let's see. We had, <clears throat> in no particular order. Well, we had mm -hmm. you and Eva on. Yep. And um, we had Jamie on, and we had Donna on, mm -hmm. and we had James on, and I feel like I'm missing somebody. Uh, Paula was on when I was and on. Paula was on. Yeah. Yeah. It was so a lot of fun. Was and, and we had a special special appearance as well. Yes, we yeah. did. Nearly. Nearly. On. Yeah. Yeah. But for those Dude, that I don't feel so privileged because nearly never appears on screen and she came on for my sprints. Plus, it was Jamie's first time on like YouTube mm -hmm. streaming. As yeah. far as, I think that's what she said. She's yeah. streamed other places before, but mm -hmm. we got to break her stream yard cherry. So that was very <laughs> cool. <laughs> awesome. I mean, I'm I'm so I'm glad that I was there, but I'm sad that I missed um seeing Jamie as well. So I'm so excited for next week just to see who's going to return and who's mm -hmm. going to be new popping in. And I'm, I'm so excited. Plus, uh, Brittany hooked me up with uh, train graphics. So oh, awesome. Could, uh, awesome. So we have to update our thumbnails to Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But also, because I don't think uh, Brittany's, well, Brittany's still sprinting this coming Tuesday, but it's a pizza party. So I don't, I'm not too sure whether um, Brittany is using the same graphic. Still I think she is because we're, she's still okay. using it as her Tuesday stream. We're okay. just, it's just that instead of having, like, usually she has somebody that's like on with her, right? Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's just going to be, it's just going to be everybody that's oh, doing nice. cultness. So, me, Aoife, yeah. it'll be me, Aoife, uh, Jess, Margaret, Brittany, and Brianna. 
Cool. And she's sending awesome. pizza out to everybody who attends? No. You have to order <laughs> your own pizza. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have to supply Damn your own food. <laughs> This is this is not good enough. <laughs> but anyway, my address. <laughs> Can you imagine if she bought like all two hundred of us pizza? Absolutely. I'm cheap, yo. I do Domino's. She'd, yeah. be, she'd be so broke. I mean, we do Casey's, which is even cheaper than Domino's, to be honest. Is it cheaper than Little Caesars? Because I'll take Little Caesars. No, but it's better than Little Caesars. I mean. Plastic pizza is plastic pizza. It's good enough. No. <laughs> I have to say plastic cheese. <laughs> oh my goodness. So today we are streaming to both Nevers and my channel. Um, so if you get a chance, pop over, give some love to Neva. If not, what are you doing? Why not? Don't forget yeah, to subscribe rude. while you're there. Like it's just rude. Like <laughs> And also, everything everybody is linked up down below. I have also put the um, train stops down there as well. So uh, starting with Vanessa from reading with uh, read with Dr. B, then uh, Leandra, then Brittany, then me, and then Coda. So and all the names of our um, stops are also there. We've got a little bit cute, and we've named ourselves. So, <laughs> so I think yeah. Leandra might only do Tuesdays. Yeah, she only does Tuesdays because I've put it there for Tuesdays and um and th this stream okay, because cool. I do it twice a week. Brittany does it twice a week. Vanessa does it twice a week, but Leandra's only on Tuesday. So, um, but it there, and a long time. yeah, no, um, well, that's why I had them on um last month, last Monday, yeah, last Monday because Brittany and Leandra and I hadn't been on screen for months together so that's why I'm like we should actually probably get onto screen together soon because we do we've been doing the train thing for weeks now but yeah we hadn't actually got together so yeah all right let's have a look and see who is here the plan today is for our sprints uh pro probably 30 minute breaks and as soon as we get to the end of the timer uh we'll be going straight into so wherever we are in the comments so I will say hello to everybody. Neva will also say hello to everybody on her channel as well. Um, so if we miss you and you leave, consider this your hello and we will get to your comments because if you've been here before, you know it's a struggle. <laughs> We're lucky to get through the comments once every six hours. Yeah. Okay, so there's lots of conversation happens here, but our chatty bits will be 30 minutes today because we have to be productive. Coda's got to do some stuff. Neva's got to do some stuff. I have to do some stuff, and I'm sure, sure you all do too. So Elena was here quite early this morning. So hello, Elena. Thank you for joining. Um, we also have a new background too, new timer. Um, all, the, all the things are happening in the background, and I think this is very Harry Potter-ish. Um, so yeah, I will be reading Six of Crows and at 20%, 21% of my books. Awesome. A uh, good morning, Jess. How are you? Still reading Fairy Tale, but started on False Hearts by Laura Lamb. A conjoined twins raised in a cult become surgically separated. Fast forward 10 years, one is arrested for murder. Now there's a journey. <laughs> now there, there's a journey. <laughs> wow uh the while the other has gone uh has to go undercover in order to get the truth awesome wow that's that's a lot in that comment that's a ride <laughs> fully um hello jen how are you not sure what i'm going to read today it's been a long week i may just chill and that is sometimes what we need to do uh truth be told i've been on sprints before and and not got much reading done and just chilled so yeah um that's like the story of my life. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, here I am on sprints, not doing anything. Uh... <laughs> Good times, right. Uh, Liz, Liz is here. Hello. How are you? I'll be reading research articles for uni as I've been putting it off. Well, hopefully we can help with that. We'll be doing our sprints. That should help you. Uh, Christina is also here. Hello, ready for Nicole's neighborhood and listening to Harry Potter 6 with my kiddo and coloring and hugging the like button. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Denise is also here. 
Uh, hello, I'm back again. I joined the fir for the first time uh, the night before last. Uh, I think it was... Uh, I think it was, yep, I finished 11.22.63, really liked it, five stars, and just started Demon Copperhead and on page 10. That's awesome. I'm glad you finished your book. I'm not going to comment on the th on the next one, though. <laughs> that wasn't my favourite book. I have read it. It was okay um, just for me. It just wasn't my type of book, but I hope that you really enjoy it. Uh, hello, Claudia, how are you? Uh, where's Nicole? I'm here. <laughs> I was a little, we were a little late. We were a little tardy because we had some stuff happening in the background with technology. I thought we were on. I was talking <laughs> to you guys and then Nicole was like, are you ready to go live? And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, we're not live. And I said, because I had scolded Ari, I said, imagine me. <laughs> Talking like that or live, absolutely not. Everybody would be like, what is going on? I don't even bat an eye. <laughs> I think I told you that I'm like 75% white trash. So. <laughs> Puerto Mexican, a whole lot of Indian, a whole lot of white trash. <laughs> 75 trash, 25% classy. <laughs> it's all right. I I'm right there with you, Ben. <laughs> I mean, I'm also quite a bit white trash. I mean, if you saw where I live, you would understand. Uh, not like the house I live in, but like the town, you know. But uh, I so don't tend. We all go to the bar together. We're getting in trouble. Yeah, we are. Um, I just don't tend to be like yelling on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we've established we're all white trash, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jamie. How are you? Uh, I'm finishing the uh, Love Dead Tonight uh, by Lovecraft and then focusing on the Dublin Lit Ward books and ARCs for the rest of the day. Awesome. Sounds like you're going to have a very productive uh, way, a day today. Um, also, give hugs to Neva's channel as well. Neva's a name. <laughs> You've got a name now. Neva, I have to add you in. <laughs> I, forgot to add. <laughs> I love to see it, honestly. Oh, I'm just going to. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, what's a name? Yeah. It's uh, short for neighborhood, isn't it? I, I would assume. <laughs> I, I would. I would assume because Nicole yeah. is Nicole's neighborhood. Okay. So ne that neighbor's name. I don't know what else would start with Nin. That would be like a place you live. Neva's. Neva's narrow. No. I don't think narrow. No. No. And that's not what I thought of immediately. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's why I'm like, no. <laughs> when when I <laughs> like, Neva, don't put your narrow on the internet. <laughs> I mean. No. <laughs> um <laughs> all right. Well, actually, Can Nave is ne well, hold on, because I just typed in like other Nave words. is nightclub. Bro, did you get two pieces of pepperoni? Yes. Spoon, 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 spoon. All I got was pepperoni by accident. I mean, that could work. Neva's nightclub. I was yeah. gonna say otherwise. There's like uh, Neva's uh, neck of the woods. Sausage. We no, are in the state. A body part in there. <laughs> <laughs> but Nabe is actually a word. <laughs> Nabe is. I'm gonna get pants. An in. It's just like the. It's like Nicole said. Just like a shortened version of. Neighborhood, so it's listen. I'm Aussie. I'm a, I'm formal. the master at sh at shorting words. So that's yeah. That's it's that's informal <laughs> for a neighborhood or a local <laughs> movie theater. Yeah. Well, or a mo movie theater. Here, <laughs> like here. Either a movie Nicole, theater or the keep, whole neighborhood. <laughs> stay where you, stay where you are. But I'm about to click this comment. Here we go. Oh yeah, cool. Neighbors. I, still, I still like nightclub, at least for the after dark portion. <laughs> yeah, after, well, after club, after, after, nightclub, after yeah. dark, we're moving to the nightclub. But yeah. during the day, <laughs> during we're the day, just we're the nook. In my nook. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. Nook. It's crowded in there. All right, I'll add that. To, I'll add that to the bottom of the the video because um we stop at the same time. Some go to Neva's Nook, some come to Nicole's neighborhood. Um, that, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a split spot. My, it's a split stop, yeah. <laughs> Disembark and keep moving. <laughs> Only time on the train you can be in two places at once. At once, yeah. Very Harry Potter of you guys. 
very much so. Uh, Katie is here. Hello. How are you today? I hope you had a fabulous day uh, with the littles and uh, all the things that you've been doing. And hello to Chris. How are you? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. And uh, evidently so are the rest of my trashy friends. <laughs> Because we established red trash. I like, oh, oh, love it. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? Uh, did you all arrive at the, in the Coles neighborhood safely? It looks like everybody did. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button on Neva's channel as well. I think we're split 50 50 at this st stage. So, yeah. So, if you are on Neva's channel and you can't see some of the comments, uh, or you're on my channel and you can't see some of the comments, that's because they're happening in two places and they will be on the screen. So, you'll be able to still enter in. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what Coda's trying to do, but I think you're going to give yourself an injury if you keep doing that. I'm trying to get a food. <laughs> you wanted to have something coming in from the top of the screen there. <laughs> um, uh, books and Things with Alicia is here. Hello, hello. Joining from Brittany Sprints, cooking dinner, which is tacos. Awesome. Good choice. I like this choice uh, at the moment. And reading a bit more of Age of Witches before I make the decision about it. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Does I always I give a book out. To DNF, is that what this I think so, yeah. I think that this was a conversation over on Britney's. I was in and out of the the chatty bits because I was trying to get ready and trying to get the cat out of the the bathroom because it was attacking the plants. And I'm like, I, I don't need Nero Lee coming home and going ballistic because you've shredded one of her plants. <laughs> get out. Yeah, that's bad. yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I had Britney's prints up, but I was on the porch in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. not Fair doing enough. Anything? Not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> um. Christina's now uh, ready for Nicole's Neighbourhood and listening to Harry Potter. Awesome. Hello, Dakota. Uh, got sent to uh, Neva's Nave. Awesome. And uh, hello, Linz. How are you? Glenn is also here. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, Neva, you look like you're going to do some ASMR. No. Not with Nicole on screen, I can't. <laughs> I thought it's about it, and then Nicole said no in that, like, really authoritative, like, mom voice, and I was like, I better not. You see Nicole over there going. <laughs> just like, no. Unfortunately, just Nicole does not like ASMR. Maybe that can be, maybe that can be, like, a special episode of the Unhinged podcast. I can just speak in ASMR the entire time. We just want And you'll see me, and, and, you, and I'll just, I'll be just sitting there twitching. We just want, we'll just... <laughs> We'll just do it when it's just like me and Katie, and I'll just whisper to Katie. Nicole will be time. listening. Nicole, are you okay? <laughs> and I'll just, be in boxer going, speak up, I'm bloody deaf. <laughs> Katie, you, you, are and I you, can, okay? <laughs> you and I can do this episode, and I'll, you can talk in regular tones, and I'll just whisper to you the entire whisper back. <laughs> 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 Could you imagine? How unhinged that would be. Oh, man, you used to be torturing me. I'll be down the Voxer the whole time going, what are you doing? Speak up. You've got a microphone. <laughs> I will turn it off. Hello, Alicia. Hello. Um... <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun day, I can see. Uh, a little bit. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Purple Rain Hearts. How are you? Reading Killer Research by Jean McKinley. Awesome. Sounds like a bit of a cozy. Uh, my daughter and I have a compromise. I am now cooking dinner at 4 p.m. <laughs> uh, there was a meltdown earlier on over dinner on Brittany Sprints. Um, a little, um, her daughter took a little moment and wanted dinner at 3 <laughs> So 315, I think it was, or something like that. And yeah, there was a moment. And so yeah. they've compromised it's four. So if you take your time, if you start cooking at four, you can stretch it out a little bit longer. I'm cooking it, it's just not ready yet. <laughs> just for and an then, hour and a half, you have to hear, is it ready yet? <laughs> well, it's no different than being in the car when there's a place, like you know, when kids go, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? There is actually a place where in Queensland when you drive to it called um St. George. <laughs> And it comes to a crossroads and you can go different ways into the outback of, of Queensland. But as you're driving into the, towards the town, there are signs on the side of the road that say, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Have we arrived yet? 
of the way every like every 10 or 15 kilometers and then there's another way that you drive it's got trivia questions when you're heading up the coast um that there's signs every 10 or 20 kilometers that have trivia questions for you to it's so like big street signs they're huge That's um so the weird shit that we do here <laughs> yeah gotta keep it in well you know like to go anywhere for me it's like two hours that's the minimum to get to a major um town or whatever so yeah uh i have finished rebecca uh so i'll try not to spoil anything for any everybody i already know how it finishes but i'm trying to put it out of my mind so i can take a fresh look at rebecca on that but i am loving it a little bit more than i did the first time so yeah i really am enjoying it i had to stop earlier because i just i found that i wasn't giving it the attention that i needed to give it yeah <laughs> and i was like you're you're ruining it for yourself so i i backed the chapter up and paused it at the beginning mm -hmm. of chapter 12 and was like we need to do this later when we can sit down with the book and and immerse ourselves a little bit because it's such beautiful writing yeah and absolutely gorgeous excited. writing and i think i'm so, supposed to start the deep end of the ocean tomorrow is that right jimmy <laughs> start <or> today <laughs> oh no wait saturday she said yeah it's only thursday um, for me so i've i'm actually listening to this and reading it as well but i have slowed my audio book down to 1.3 that's what you were saying and mm -hmm. i was listening at 175 and reading along mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then during the dialogue, I can, I don't have to read along. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, I like it. Which audio version did you get? The one with the Netflix um, or the older one? Um, I, to be honest, I can't even remember. Um, I'll look that up and I'll let you know. Um, hi, everybody. How are you going, Lynn? Thanks for joining. I uh, finally felt well enough to uh, join in some sprint, so I'm glad you're feeling better. Uh, we'll be listening to uh, Shape a Dragon's Breath while working on a project. Awesome. Hello to Coda. We're yelling again. Coda, <laughs> Christina! <laughs> I swear it's a battle cry. <laughs> Brittany said Brittany said that from now on, if I'm on her sprints, that she's going to make me read it. Because this is how, okay, because like when people do this in the comments, like if I'm reading the comments, like instead of like yelling in people's face, you know what I'm saying? Because that's rude. I just, mm. I'll be like, Coda! So it sounds like I'm like in the middle of the canyon, you know? Like my voice is carrying. So, oh, so, oh, so, oh. so, so Brittany was like, from now on, if you're on sprints with me and like these comments come up, she's like, I'm gonna bring them up and you have to dramatically read them. <laughs> my friends. <laughs> you can do I'm, it. I'm the resident dramatic reader of synopses and also people yelling each other's names. I can't wait until we read. Smile out loud on after that, or I mean, on unhinged. <laughs> Is everyone ready for me to make? Here's the thing: when I read it out loud, it, it like sinks in more, almost like, especially if it's like really stupid smut, like if it's like weird turkey. Um, and I tend to like give it its own commentary. So like I'll read something, and then I'll be like, "Wow, I don't feel like that was necessary," and then I'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> So you get like you get you get bonus material that the author didn't actually write. <laughs> footnotes. They're footnotes. <laughs> oh, that's hot. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait. I can honestly I cannot wait. Ooh. Melissa's also joined us. I don't know uh what to read. I can't pick uh the familiar by Lee Bardugo Bardugo. Um, or Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. I would go Lee Bardugo. Yeah, also Lee Bardugo. I don't know. I'm not really a Cassandra. I know a lot of people love her, but I'm just not like a Cassie Clare girly. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not a Cassie Clare girly either. I'm an SJM girly. I will I know fully about. admit that. But I'm not, I'm not Shadow a Hunters. Claire. Have you seen the show Shadow Hunters? That's based off Cassandra Clare's. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know anything mm. about it except for I like the title Sword Catcher. Mm. On that. Um, that <laughs> no. Wow. Christina's that. becoming unhinged again. Uh, hello. I think I was on Coda oh. Sprints yesterday when I mentioned that I had an interview yesterday. Today I was offered the position. Yay! That is awesome. Congratulations, Sarah. That is awesome. 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 
Very cool. Uh, so a smaller school, uh, small, smaller school district next year. Awesome. Nice. Are there going to be smaller classes too for you? That would be awesome if that is. A little bit less chaotic because let's face it, I, I, if I remember correctly, Sarah is a grade two teacher. I don't remember. I, I think so because she was talking to Ari and said that. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, a yeah. Second, she's a second grade teacher, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so, yeah, a little then like grade two. <laughs> they can get full on. <laughs> she, said, she said her comment was that she went to school and then she liked second grade so much that she decided to stay forever. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Aww. When we were talking to Ari, yeah. Uh, I really like the classic cheese uh, Little Caesars pizza. No need to get fancier than that. Yeah. And I'm on that note, pepper. we are going to go to an hour sprint. I hope everybody's okay with that because we're not going to get to the bottom. <laughs> I wish we could <laughs> play the intro right music now. on the way to the sprint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, uh, I, guess, I mean, if Coda really wants somebody to sing, it's a beautiful day in there, but I guess I could do it. You want me to do it? I mean, is Ari singing already? <laughs> <laughs> She's singing Humpty Dumpty. What's it? Now sing, sing it from the top. <laughs> <laughs> sing it from the top. <laughs> do, you, do you know the, the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood song? You know, you know Daniel Tiger though. Only That's like forty years thing. before she was born. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> but she knows. But she knows. So she knows Daniel Tiger though, which is like a spinoff. Right. It's okay. just animated. Okay. I know who Daniel Tiger is. It's All a right. beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day with a neighbor. Won't you be my? Won't you be my? Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> I'm not singing in front of all the people. <laughs> no, it's a lot of her internet neighbors anyway. Can yeah. Can you can. <laughs> Go eat your food. Yes, they can hear you. She said, can they hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can. they can hear you. Oh, she can't hear us though, can she? No, because I have on though. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we won't be able to yell at Ari this sprint <laughs> during this session <laughs> like we normally do. <laughs> If I have Sorry, to, um, if I have to, I can just put the headphones on her and be like, "You have a message," and then you'll <laughs> then you'll steadily watch her face. You'll you'll watch mm -hmm. her face go like this. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that because that might make her cry. I'm not into making kids cry. Well, I I like you yeah cry. maybe all right little kids yeah bring it on I'll make them cry. Yes. I just don't, she said I just don't want to make Ari cry. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go now. This is a new timer, and um, I'm hoping that I've set it up right. Um, we're going to go uh, for an hour, and we'll see you soon. So happy reading, everybody.
Oh, hello. How'd we go? Okay. Good. Yeah. I have no idea where I'm up to. <laughs> I just made it to the top of 15, so I only have two chapters left for today's pages. Um, let me have a look. Because I'm in my borrow box. It doesn't. Um, I'm in chapter 15 as well, and I've got nine minutes left of it. Awesome. So, yeah. I'm somewhere, but I seem to have lost my phone, so that's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ari has my phone. That's why. I couldn't find your thing. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Ari. Okay, thank you. Go to bed. Good night. Um, I'm on <coughs> chapter 14, so I'm a little bit behind y'all, but that's because um, I made the mistake of opening up Instagram, and then I went on a rabbit hole with that couple's TikToks. I mean, reels. <laughs> I sent one to the group. Yeah, I, I looked at it. And I was dying with laughter. So I'll have to go and watch it. Dying with laughter. Uh, how'd you go? Uh, how did you get anything else done or just still rating? I did. Um, <clears throat> I switched out the dishwasher and started the new load. And I put the laundry in the dryer. Um, and I got Thai food. Awesome. I pa packed uh, away some uh, stock that came in, floss and DMC. And then I had a diamond painting that I could not find the diamonds for. And while I was doing that, I found the diamonds. They had slipped behind hey. a basket. So this is the diamond painting I'm talking about. Fine. Uh, it's Ooh. a cat sewing. It says, uh, that's what I do. I craft stuff. And I hate people, and I know things. Which Same with cat. Me. Yeah. So I found all those bits. So I just spent. Um, I've got a little bit more cutting to do, um, rather that because they're only small. I don't want to waste my um, cover sheet. So I got my Exacto uh, knife, and I'm just cutting the plastic, so I can just pull that section off and do that section. So yeah, that's what I did. And um, I was giggling like Hermione and Ron. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Ginny's one-liners. Oh, it does look like he's eating her face. Harry's like, internal sort of... thoughts, too, on Ginny. Yeah. Be funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and just like how Jenny's like, oh, I suppose he's got to get practice somehow <laughs> about her brother. So-and-so <laughs> snogging so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so snogging so-and-so. He's just a prat. <laughs> Definitely having a fun time with the with the uh, dialogue that's going on at the moment. So yeah, and it's good because like there is some serious stuff going on it, um, and whatnot. And uh, <coughs> excuse me. So it's good to have that little bit of comedic relief. Right. Uh, it sounds like Ari is uh, giving Neva a bit of grief. Oh All God. right. Let, <laughs> All right. Let's have a look where we got to in the comments. Uh, congratulations to Sarah, most definitely. That is the link for Neva's um, sprint oh, yeah. as well, because we're sprinting to both channels. Um, I did stop. Uh, excuse me for a minute. I've just got a cough. Uh, sorry about that. I had to ask Ari about some shirt colors for a special thing that's not been announced yet um here i'll read some comments for nicole i can't it's not my thing to announce now lay down um becoming again did i stop vanessa i don't know i just hide it well i don't what are we talking about am i confused i might be confused i don't know um, yay, Sarah likes to read wonderful news. Yes, on Sarah's job. Still on HP5, been dealing with health issues. Just got a heart monitor put on yesterday. I'm going to try to finish a few books. I have like 30 started. I hope that you are feeling okay today. I'm sorry you're dealing with health issues. Also, I feel like I'm talking really quiet into this microphone, but I'm, I'm scared to yell, so it's fine. Um, hello. 
so that comment may be posted twice again. YouTube loves me or hates me. Maybe both. Who knows? You know what I mean? Um, hug the like button. Nicole, are you okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just got up because it's change of season and it's been quite windy. It's the dust has been blown up, and so I get a really scratchy throat at this time of the year. It takes about three or four weeks for it to settle into the new environment. It's such a different environment. It's windy and dry, and yeah. No. Okay, I'll just make sure. You know, I mean, I don't mind reading. It's fine. Yeah, and you're you're not sounding like you're whispering. Your microphone's picking up your voice nicely. Great. I just don't want to feel like I'm like screaming at you either. Um, yeah. Chris, I have to finish River East, River West. Took time out to read International Booker Prize, and currently reading a Dutch novel about suicide. So my track record of only reading upbeat books continues. <laughs> I love this for you. Really. <laughs> Um, congrats to Sarah, Neva's Nook. Okay, so I guess I'm Neva's Nook. Also, yep. uh, Brittany sent me a voice message saying that she accidentally sent everyone to my channel and not okay. yours. But yep. I think she, what she plans to do from now on, mm -hmm. because you, because I told her that you're going to add me to your description, is she's just mm -hmm. going to switch off every week. Yeah, that's fine. That works. So I was like, you might as well do that. I was like, I didn't like invite myself to this because I didn't feel like it was like... Uh, well, we, we we go to both channels every Thursday, so... Right, so it, I was like, I didn't right. feel like this was my thing. I was like, but if you want to include me, sure, I'll be included. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll jump on the train, you know? Cool. So we just um, need a picture for your little... Um... Yes, there was also a neck of the woods. So I am now Neva's Nook, except mm -hmm. Saturday sprints are... Well, they're not sprints, they're just us talking um you get like one 15 minute bathroom break that's about all you get yeah a nice little intermission um yeah. that can be neva's nightclub yeah so i will change i'll make like a new cutie graphic to look like a nightclub and then mm -hmm. that's what it'll be called instead of neva's cool. chatty bits neva's nightclub should we both send you should we all send you pictures of us dancing in the nightclub so that you sure put them in there? send me your best nightclub photo <laughs> uh, if, yeah, you wanna, if you want, if you want to use my streamyard, so you can have like an opening and all that sort of stuff, you're more than welcome to use it, Neva. You've got access anyway, so because I because you don't have a paid. She's giving one. me the power. Uh, no, I need to pay it again, and I have I've been lazy and I haven't done it yet. You'll have full access. All right. Well, I'll just I'll just start scheduling <laughs> stuff since everything's already set <laughs> up that way anyway. You know what I mean? I'll just start scheduling my stuff on yours, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I felt weird doing that, which is why I wasn't doing it. I gave you full access for that reason, <laughs> dude. But I was like, I was like, I, I was like, am I supposed to be? Actually, I think there was one that I did schedule. It was by accident, but I scheduled it under the Dusty Books and First thing <laughs> because mm -hmm. it was already open. Because like when I open my Streamyard, it's automatically open on. Yep. Fridays to Dusty Books Nerds because that's the last place I've been. Yes. And yeah. I had scheduled it and then I was like, oh, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so I'll just start. If you, like, let, we, does everybody in the comments agree that we can step up the nightclub scenario for Neva's Chatty Bit, well, Neva's nightclub instead of Chatty Bits and have an opening like doof doof music or whatever the case may be or whatever you want, whatever you're into, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah I think you should we use can, it. Go for okay, it. Well, we'll just do that. And then I don't have, well, and then it saves me money. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Like, you paid I, yours for a whole year, didn't you? I, I, I pay my monthly, I, I pay my monthly, but when it comes, uh, when, uh, when tax comes in, I'm paying it for the year because I came in after the tax bracket but my okay. mine because i'm monetized now is now my books are now tax deductible <laughs> all right well if you want me to like send you a book or some money or something let me know but that'll mm -hmm. that will save me like 25 dollars a month because i just pay yeah well that's it like yeah uh just, yeah, yeah help so yourself you just have to remember after we've spread up we both have to remember because i don't even remember we yeah. need to uh, take off the recording time because we only get 50, 50 hours of recording time. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it'll yeah. still, there There will still be a replay though, people. Oh, yeah. The replay will still be there. It'll it's be just the, the, it's a back of house recording that yeah. we, just we just take out. We just take off the recording that. Yeah. 
Yeah, that answers one of my questions. All right. Yeah, it'll it because it, it'll auto so StreamYard until you run out of storage, it'll automatically s store mm -hmm. your um yeah I saw that your stream mm -hmm. or whatever. And so the little three dots beside it, Coda, you just go on that and it says delete recording. You just delete the recording. Um, that if you want to delete the stream, then it'll ask you to delete the stream. And I'm no, pretty sure if you go to delete the stream, no. it'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete it off YouTube? Like it'll actually give you a second prompt. Okay. Um, yeah. So just, yeah, delete the recordings and, and whatnot. But it's good because you can download that and you can take snippets from your streams to do trailers and stuff like that. So, yeah. Then you're getting all funky with your stuff. I thought, well, you may as well have that information too. <laughs> Uh, coming in to hug the like button. Thank you. Just finished my five chapters of One Dark Window and about to go watch a show with the youngest. Have a great time sprinting. Have a great time watching. This was like an hour ago, so I'm sure you're gone, but that's okay. Um, thanks from Sarah. Very excited. I'll be working with quite a few teachers that I worked with before. I moved to Squamat now. Wonderful. What is this? Oh, Neva's Nest. Yeah, I, I think I like Nook better. Neva's Nook. Yeah. It just rolls off the tongue. Plus, it also fits because I always use, like, on my Saturday afternoon sprints, I tend to use, like, a coffee shop background because mm -hmm. I want it to feel, you know, like we're having coffee and just, like, hanging out. Uh, also, hopefully he lay down. Go Actually, fin go finish at the table and then go potty and then come lay down. Thank you. Go. Yes, go. Also, hopefully he's not watching, but um, someone whose name I don't mention on my channel anymore uh, saw my hair today, you know, because I chopped it all off. Mm -hmm. Oh. And my plan of them not liking it kind of worked. To my advantage. I was going to say, was uh, that, that was my next question, and did it work? <laughs> they gave me a look like this. They were like, and I was like, why are you looking at me like that, bro? Why is it wrong with your face? Like, what? Like, what happened to your face? Did you hit a he wall? Was like, he was like, you know I'm looking at you like this. And I was like, I told... First of all, I did tell him I cut it off. He just hadn't mm. seen it. I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, he lost it. He lost the right... First of all, it's much lighter on my head. Yeah, um, I was going to say, how does it feel on your head? Because I know with me, I have, like... It doesn't look like I've got thick hair. But if yeah. I don't thin my hair out, the weight... Gives yeah. me headaches. So I am going to be honest. I only really let it grow out as long as I did. Because my hair, you couldn't tell because I always had it pulled up. Um, mm -hmm. But my hair, like when I've gotten my hair done, I have sent pictures to people. I think even like Nicole. I know I've sent them to the besties. My mm -hmm. hair was like sh if you straightened it out so that there was no curl pattern anymore. Um, it was about shoulder length. Like it was about mm -hmm. this long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I chopped it all off, so now it's about this long. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, like, as thick as my hair is, I think I prefer... I do need to go to, like, the hairdresser and have them, like, shape it, which means it probably will be actually shorter than it is. So I think what I'll do is I'll let it grow out a little bit and then go have them, like, shape it so that it's, like, all the same length. Because right now it's not all the same length. Mm -hmm. I just cut it with scissors. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be real. But, like... I think I prefer to keep my hair short, and then when I want long hair, it's I'm black. You know what I mean? So I can braid in some hair. I can, like, throw a wig on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If I want mm -hmm. long hair, like, I can have both. Yeah. And, so, and I just, I get um, migraines from the tension of having my hair up, mm -hmm. even if it's loose up. Like, yeah. right now, it doesn't hurt because there's really not, there's, like, not very much um mm. but as it gets longer it also the white is yeah. and so it will start to like pull like i have to actually pull all of my hair to the top of my head in mm -hmm. order for it to not feel like it's trying to rip my scalp off so yeah i'll probably just keep it short uh the only other person whose opinion i care about when it comes to my hair likes it short so well he likes it however i want to wear it mm. That's um great. and 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 that's <laughs> like, but he likes it short. I mean, he doesn't have a preference. Like he preference, doesn't care if it's yeah. short or if it's long, long. Yeah. or whatever. 
I remember the first time I got my hair all cut off because my hair used to be like right down my back when I met my husband and I'm like, I'm going to the hairdresser to get it all cut off. And he goes, no, you're not. And then I walked in and it was all like short pixie, not, not full on pixie, but it had a little bit of length at the front so I could style it and all that sort of stuff. I walked in and he looked at me and he went, so you weren't lying? I'm like, no, I don't. And he goes, I have no opinion. I'm like, that's fine because it's my head. <laughs> yeah, I literally said, I literally said to this person who I've not talked about really on the internet, but I said to it, I said to them before they were going to see me the next time, I said, "You still gonna love me if I cut all my hair off?" And they were like, "Yeah, that's a weird." And then they were like, "That's a weird question." And I was like, "Well, okay." So I cut all my hair off, and then I told them like maybe like twelve hours after I cut it off because I had been on sprints when I cut it. Right. Hmm. And then that like next day, like the next day for me, I said, just so you know, my hair is really short. And then I saw them and they were, and I was like, so you don't have anything to say about my hair? And they were like, what do you want me to say? It's hair. <laughs> it grows back. Oh, it's fine. Um, 60% through my city of bones reread doing for a read along. Wonderful. See, I wish I was a Cassandra Claire girly. Cause I she's own, got so many books. Like, like I, well, I own City of I think it's City of Well, I own Mortal Instruments and City of Bones. They're both in ebook form, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. like on Apple Books. But I do own them, and I and I've read them, and I just don't care about mm. them. Like they're not like uh, I only I, I, I knew I didn't care books, when but, um Nerali made me sit through Shadow Hunters. <laughs> yeah, I just I just. Yeah. I'm good. I don't need to read the books. I'm good. And I know that people love them and I'm not saying that, you know, yeah. like it just wasn't for me. And like I, it's yeah. Like people have definitely said to me, like, you like Sarah J. Mass, you should like Cassandra Claire. And I just mm. no, that's not really how it works for me most of the time. Yeah. Like I can like to be read. fair, I haven't even read Sarah J. Mass either. I so. we need to add a series to our list. I don't know because I just think that it's I it's Roy A, isn't it? So some uh, of it is. I Throne guess of Glass. it starts out that way and then it goes. Mm. Throne of Glass specifically is her YA series. And I'm going to say this because she started writing it when she was like 16. Mm. But as you... Now, I've been told by Sam, because he read them all, mm -hmm. that when you get to the last couple of books in Throne of Glass, they become... There are like spicy scenes in them. Now, his definition of smut and mine are... Not the same. Um, mm -hmm. So he's like, oh, you're pretty smutty. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but I do know that Akatar is smutty. Like, after, like, the second book, it is actually smutty. Mm -hmm. um, so everything after Throne of Glass is adult. Crescent City and Akatar are both adult series. But yeah. I don't know... I don't know if they're necessarily books that you would enjoy, Nicole. Mm. See, I read fantasy. I read I it's a fantasy, right? Okay. <laughs> so far, it's only been once that there was like a like a gnat, and I like was trying to get it away from my face, and I hit the thing. I'm so sorry to everyone with headphones on. Yeah. I, will, I will try not to abuse my microphone. So far, I've done really good, especially since like for the first chatty bit, I was like holding it. And I didn't smack the crap out of it, which never happens. I'm always like dropping it or smacking it or something. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you would like Sarah J. Mass. I would say you could try it. Yeah. But if you're gonna try it, I would maybe try a court like a court of thrones and roses, like the first book in that series first. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. I read the first two in a court of thrones and roses, and then I started throwing a class. Okay. Because I wanted an understanding of like her writing. Well, and actually, the first one that I ever read was Court uh, Crescent City, the first one. And then I went back because people were saying like, "Oh, there's Easter eggs of this and this and that, so you mm. should read them in order." And so I then read the first two books in Avatar, and then I went to Throne of Glass, which I'm reading now. So I mean, you could yeah, try I it. I, I don't own them. I up to I, I I might acquire one. I I don't say so it's just not something that. If my kids read them, like <laughs> I know I'm and reading I mean, Harry Potter, but and Harry I feel Potter universally loved. I feel, I feel like, like it was, that, yeah, yeah. I feel like it was also not something that you're like thinking about reading. Don't like force yourself to read it because I don't think you'll. Yeah, because yeah. if it's not something that was like on your radar until right now, because I was talking about it. No, okay. like I've heard about them before because one of Savannah's friends is right into Sarah J. Mass. Like I've I've known mm -hmm. about her for ages, 
Um, and Savannah, Savannah and I sort of we do align in a lot of our stuff. Like she doesn't read romance and stuff like that, so she's never going to gravitate towards it. But mm. even Neralee has said, I doubt whether you'll like it, Mum, on that. But then she's also looked at me and like, Mum, what do you actually read? <laughs> After the conversation the other night, uh, you're yeah. reading Manacled and all that sort of stuff. And I'm, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it and all this. And she's just like, she questioned me. And I'm like, never you mind, Missy. You're only 17. When you turn 18, we'll discuss. That's what what do you mean, what like, do I read? Then, I read whatever the I want. Yeah, like, hurry up. You're like, Mom, can I read this book of yours? I'm like, no, that's not a book for you. And she's like, I don't understand why I can't read your books. And I'm like, because my books are not for children. Yeah, well, she. I know that she's read like uh, Twisted Love and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that because I her, her books come and I accident I didn't have my glasses on, and both of I, her and I have got the same initials, and I can recognize the initials without my glasses on. So I opened it up, and then I looked at it, and I'm like, I didn't order any books, and then I put my glasses on, and I'm like, Nerele, sweetie, what are we reading? Because <laughs> I, I knew what it was, and I'm just like interesting and then we got a diet like you've seen how animated she is and all the rest of it the other day so i get that's how i get my book reviews like a a, a mini tiktok or a youtube video but in person i get the live show i mean <laughs> she come in and she's like i'm never eating lollipops again i'm like why what happened with the lollipop she goes i'm not talking to you about that <laughs> to be honest, why not narrowly come on talk favorite... to me about your lollipop thing <laughs> and she's like no i'm not i'm not i'm going by and she just my, left it was so funny <laughs> my fa my favorite way to give book reviews is live you know what i mean i like to talk about it in the moment yeah. but i don't do them on my channel um my cats are mad <clears throat> wow at me because i spent Brittany sprints outside on the porch with other cats how rude <gasps> that's just rude blasphemy Sleep with one eye open. Does anyone <laughs> get revenge? Uh, no, I, I'm not joining. I, I, I've thought about it and I'm still I'm on not. the fence about it. I, I just think I'm going to skip it because we've got um, Kindle Mayhem happening. Right. Yeah, the... we have Kindle Mayhem and I'm introducing my new TBR game in May as well because I yeah. know I can make it I can make it work with like what yeah. we're doing for Kindle Mayhem. Yeah. Um, and... Stop. I will take it off in a moment. Put it down. You don't need that. You're not wearing it to bed. Those are for school. Thank you. Get pajamas on. Anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, I didn't do Escape the Readathon last year either. It didn't really appeal to me. Uh, so I'm not I'm not doing it this year. I'm, uh, essentially, essentially, it's exactly, it's, it's not exactly the same, but essentially it's the same as uh, Amazing Readathon, except you're um, escaping your room. You gotta read certain amount of certain things to get to the next one. That's that's a very brief overview. If you would like to see the video, go and check out um Christina. Can you put the link in? I forget her channel name. Lexi. Lexi Books with Lexi. That's it. Thank you. And Lexi <laughs> like, spelled with an I E L E X I E. Yeah. Um that is the channel. There's an announcement video there. Kiana is gonna read. Ice Plant Barbarians 11, Farley Story, wonderful. I'll be starting Deep End of the Ocean Saturday, probably aiming to finish roughly the first 100 pages. Coda. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, fair. Okay, um, that's not for me. So. I'm trying my best. Not for me either. Um, I'd love to get a microphone with reverb and other effects to use when I graduate to doing my own sprints once I have better internet. Actually, so <laughs> I tested this microphone because this is just like a plug and play, like blue Yeti mic. Um, I tested this microphone with like singing into it, and it sounds great. I mean, did mm -hmm. I sound great? Not necessarily. It was like four o'clock in the morning, but the microphone sounded great. <laughs> No one's at their best at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to belt without waking everybody up. True. Yeah, true. It, and I definitely like wasn't but like I definitely deleted the tracks in a moment. Lay down. I definitely deleted the tracks after because it was definitely like me singing at four o'clock in the morning when everybody's asleep. So it wasn't like I was singing to my full potential. Mm -hmm. Um yes, yeah, so good night. Um, yes, Neva's nook. Yay. Yay to Sarah. Lay down. I don't want to hear your voice again. Thank you. Good night. Go shut off the big light, Ariana. 
Um, oh, yeah. you just got your full name thrown out at you. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking mum off. Shut off. She's got a middle name. You see her in trouble. Now lay it down. It's like we don't even hear that very often. Before you Never. lose TV tomorrow night, too. Ooh. <laughs> well, then tuck yourself in and I will come give you hugs and kisses in a moment. Um, Sarah, in four minutes yeah. and 42 seconds. Yes. <laughs> in five minutes, I will come to give you hugs and kisses. Now, good night. Yes, Ari. Sarah does teach second grade. Her current school wanted to move her to fourth grade. Which I've done before and didn't really like it. I will be continuing to teach second grade at the new school. Okay. Yeah, I feel like fourth grade is when they start to get real lippy, and they start back chatting. <laughs> Whereas yeah. second grade, I think you have like the chaotic, but you somewhat have control. <laughs> Elena read 124 books. Um, Katie is about to get their first thunderstorm of spring. So excited! Perfect reading weather. We love a Minnesota thunderstorm. Honestly, I love thunderstorms. <laughs> Um, hello, Monica. Just got back from a half walk. It's pouring down here, and my dog was not having a bit of it. So we'll settle in to lurk and work, and we'll chat after I finish. Wonderful. Um, 181 pages and 38% of my book. Wonderful. Got to 20% in my book, had some late dinner, and watched a bit of Survivor. Oh, I need to go watch Survivor. I don't watch any of Rihanna. So I... I was gonna watch Naked and Afraid now that it's on HBO, but it's there's they're still blurred out even though it's on HBO. So yeah. Yeah, so it was <laughs> it was well it was blurred out anyway because they can't they can all even on HBO they can only show certain body parts. I don't no, think you can, when you I watched Naked and Afraid, I don't think they blurred it out here. You can one hundred percent maybe not there but, on HBO. But I think because of because Technically, Naked and Afraid is not an HBO show. Mm. Naked and Afraid is a Discovery um, show. Mm. I thought they. Oh, is that HBO why it's HBO and Discovery? So, so Discovery Channel, no, you can't show. Discovery everything. Channel. So the Discovery Network, which is like Discovery Channel, History Channel, ID Discovery, TLC, they did merge with HBO. Which is why now the thing like the app is Max and not HBO Max is because it's both of like it's all of those services together. However, just the Naked and Afraid, at least in America, is a discovery show. Well, it, it probably, probably is everywhere, everywhere then. Yes, yeah, it, it'll, it'll, it'll be everywhere. Right, because even rights and licensing is rights and licensing. Even the mm. 90 Day Fiance, like I, what do they call it? after dark or something like that like i don't remember exactly what they call it but there's a 90 day spinoff that i actually haven't seen an episode of in a while but they started during the pandemic and basically it's like uncut bits of things from 90 day fiance and even that like they can only show certain body parts like they like, i mean i've seen enough people's butts the last in a lifetime it's disgusting are you jumping the or am i no, I, I just moved it. Um, I was just doing all the, the check-ins for what people read and everything like that, oh. and this is where you're at. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I was just making sure you were clicking things, and I wasn't, like, doing something weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> I ended up starting a queue. I was like, what's happening? Uh, my computer's been hacked. Um, I ended up starting a cute middle grade graphic novel called Curl Friends. Almost done, and it's very cute. Wonderful. Cute Maria, Maria had dinner and read to 56 percent 212 pages in 44 percent in my book 19 chapters read 45 percent more to go hello christy trying to decide between reading or watching a movie for old school april this is uh, i watched movie. two movies for old school april yesterday you guys if i come yes. back i want to return as hermione me too truly although this <laughs> I don't know if this is a spoiler. I'll put a spoiler thingy just in case. Do you want me to pause the time? Yeah. Over there? Sure. But I, just, I mean, what I'm about to say is very quick. I just feel like the tension between Harry, I mean, not Harry, no, between Hermione and Ron is so much more in the book. I don't feel like we got this tension in the movie. No, I feel like they touch on it a little bit but it's it, not verbal it's very yeah, i mean they like 
yeah you know, eye to eye and interaction chemistry that I you don't on screen. We're not to this part yet, or at least I'm not, so I don't want to speak on it in case you guys are also not to this part. But there is, like, a certain part in the movie that does also happen in the book, but I feel like all of the... But there's a lot of tension before what the little bit of it that we see in the movie. There's, like, a like this tension that we're feeling right now is not actually in the book. Well, there's been like, tension since two books ago. With the whole dance thing. Yes, but it's wor- but it's worse than this. It's just book. it's just snowballing. Is Accumulating. All. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I feel like even in the fourth movie, like we didn't have as much. No, they didn't attention. touch on that. Like the like whole they, like you should have you should have asked me. You yeah, like that was that, that wasn't, wasn't a movie. thing. <laughs> and like the because like all we really I feel like in the fourth movie, what it really felt like was that Ron felt inferior to Crumb. Not that he was jealous of Crumb. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because, you know, Crumb is, you know, a Quidditch player or whatever. I don't care. But, like, I feel like it was more of like a, oh, why would you pick him over your friend kind of tension? Not mm. like a, I'm in love with you. Why would you pick another dude? <laughs> you know? Anyways, that's all the spoilers that I have. Do you want me to... I've already started. Wow. See, Nicole is way more professional than me. They've both got their hands in the cookie jar at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We're going to go for a sprint. We'll see you in an hour and we'll be back for another 30 minute break.
Hello, we are back. How did you go? I got to where I needed to be. Um, I was having a little chuckle to myself. Uh, it's really good in Harry Potter. And then I've gone on to this weird-ass book from um, the Women's Prize for Fiction, and I'm slightly confused. <laughs> it's, it's a sci-fi one, and... It's supposed to be around um, first contact and all the rest of it, but also with virtual virtual reality. And I'm like, I don't actually care. Is it the beautiful blue one? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's okay, but I just don't care. I've got an hour and a half to go of it, but I just don't care. <laughs> like, just, like, they haven't... So from what I can gather, they're supposed to be making first contact with, with aliens, right? So there's a group of people, humans, that are, well, I think they're humans, not 100% sure on that fact because one of them is a bit sketchy and I think that they're an alien. But anyway, that's beside the point. They are doing some sort of presentation with virtual reality to make contact with the aliens. I think, and I say the word I think because I am confused what the hell is going on. And this is the one that has two books before it. So, I, like, and it says, that, like, it doesn't say that you have to read the other two at all, like they're supposed to be standalones. But I'm feeling like there's more to the story. But I don't know whether that's my own brain making shit up because I know that there's two other books or whether it is actually I need to read these at two other books to read this because I feel like there's something missing. I got nothing, dude. <laughs> I've got nothing either and I'm reading the bloody thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm really confused. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, gee, thanks help for the help, friends. <laughs> That's okay because I have no idea either. Although Chris is in the comments and Chris has read this. Chris, Chris, where are you in the comments? <laughs> Come back. Chris, paging Chris. We need your assistance at the front. In aisle desk. one, paging Chris, please come to aisle one. Customer assistance needed. <laughs> That's how my, my announcer sounds at our supermarket. She talks through her nose. <laughs> well, I finished chapter, just, I don't know why I thought we were going to the top of chapter 20. Well, thank God that I stopped. Okay, anyway, um, I made it to the top of chapter 17. <laughs> I made it like a few minutes into 17 and then it was like, oops, I pulled a Nicole. <laughs> and then, um, uh, yeah, and then I think that I dozed off for a second. I like turned my camera off because I'm not going to share what I was doing on the internet. I can tell you guys, but like I'm not going to say why. Yeah. Um. So I shut my camera off and then uh like I was like sitting here and I was like sitting up, but like I was sitting here and I had like moved my diamond. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um uh, moved my diamond painting and then <laughs> and then I was sitting here and I was listening and I'm pretty sure that I dozed off for a second because like I opened my eyes and there was only a minute and a half left of the sprint. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, I know everything that was happening, like, in Harry Potter. And then yeah. I was like, oh, I'm at the top of 17. And then I was like, I think we're supposed to go to 20. No, 17. But then You're I not checked sure. Discord in, oh, in the Discord. And I also it. looked at Bonfire. Um, yep. Because I need to order a few things from there. I, mean, I can't share. It's not my thing to share, so I can't share why. Um, But I need to order a few things from there. And... I don't get paid until tomorrow, but I needed to put everything in the cart so I know how much money I have to spend tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's all that I did. Very productive. What else did you do? Yeah, me. Um, yeah. I uh, I did the I did the chapter thing, and then yep. I cleared out a bunch of the library. Awesome. To the hallway and the kitchen and the bedroom. <laughs> There's, a, there's like floor space now to work with mm -hmm. and I organize some of Patrick's books and put them in order so that when I get started with shelves, I can just put them in as I go. Mm -hmm. What else did I do? 
Um, I started another load of laundry. Look at me go. Oh, you go. You're all over it today. That's awesome. Um, I, I have um, pulled out my diamond painting because I'm starting to get a, a slight headache. I've just taken some medication for it. Oh. Um, so with the amount of sneezing I'm done, uh, no wonder. My brain has just been rattled yesterday because I pulled my room apart yesterday and redid it and vacuumed the walls. And before anybody goes, what, you vacuumed the walls? I've got textured walls, so I have to vacuum the walls. Um, and with that, a lot of dust was disturbed and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I've been sneezing on and off for the last couple of days and my brain's just rattled. Uh, so I took some medication. I'm going to sit down and do some diamond painting. I was going to do some stitching today, but I just don't think I want to aggravate my headache. Um, and I finished uh, kitting up that one that I found the, the drills for, so I can move on to that one once I'm finished this one. So, yeah, and I've finished my chapters, and, yeah, as you heard, I'm confused by my book. I have a T-shirt that's similar to your diamond painting. It's got <clears throat> a tabby cat on it, and it says... This one, oh, the other one. It yeah. says, I read and I know things. Yeah, I got it from Fan Cells. The other one, I, don't, I put it underneath here, so I've got to lift it up, and I've got all stuff on top of it now. So, and yeah, things fall when I do that. So yeah, all right, let's have a look and see how everybody else is going. Uh, we are halfway through chapter nineteen. Um, I think Christina's on Harry Potter five, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. she's reading it with yeah. her son. I think. Yeah, uh, read thirty five pages. Awesome. I Jamie got 145 pages in, excuse me, got the hiccups. Hello, Jean, how are you? Uh, I'm a third of the way through the third Harry Potter and just um, had a very brief <laughs> Quidditch match. Jean does not like Quidditch. She does <laughs> uh, who was with, who, who was with the word neighbourhood? Because Nicole is Nicole's neighbourhood. Yeah, Neva I am. is Neva's Nook. Neva's Nook. See, I've got Dusty's. I've got Dusty's um, reading for the Discord, so we could always swap it around if you want. We could confuse the people and just swap it each week. <laughs> but this I week like yours. Neva's, Dusty's dugout. Yeah, right. This week it's it, Dusty's driveway. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, going with my trash theme. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. I love it. But anyway, we've got it with our first names, not our Discord or channel names. So, yeah. Correct. Yeah. And honestly, well, I don't put my full name on the internet anyway, but like usually, but I would have to come up with something like with a G and the only thing I can think of that would go with my like government name is like Graveyard. And that just sounds spooky. Um, or, garage. or Garage. Garage. That's the first thing I garage. thought. It's not Garage. It's not a posh. I thought you said you were trash. It's Garage, mate. It's Garage. <laughs> garage. No, it's not Garage. It's Garage. <laughs> it's, it's where your nightclub garage. exists. <laughs> in the garage <laughs> in the garage we give uh discount tattoos there so <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was free <laughs> listen after a, certain, after a certain hour they are free you know what i'm saying <laughs> no but um, yeah, so the club music sounds music for your opening for ch uh, chatty bits i will figure out how to do this nightclub. i don't know how to make those things so we're I you make them in, you, you. You, you, it's in Canva, but like yeah. I'm here's the thing that people think about me for some reason. People think, um, that because I came onto the scene and I just have like cute graphics that don't move, uh, that I know what the hell I'm doing on Canva. I have no idea. I can show you. Okay, can, could you like about I, I made my I intro, I made my first intro first. on, on, uh, without the timer, I had the timer that I just screen recorded um, off Google and then I added it to mine. That's why mine's got a white background, mm -hmm. but I should be able to remove that. I haven't tried um, in Canva, but um, yeah, you get the, I did my intro on my channel through Canva. Listen, and I, then I just added music from my um, editing software. I'm not going to be funny, but like y'all are lucky that my little intro graphic for my videos, that, they, that it moves. 
Because <laughs> actually, if you watch, I think like my old videos, the intro didn't even move. Like it just came in mm. and then it left because I could do yeah. that inside the editing. Yeah. It took me, I think, I'm pretty sure it took me like two months to figure out how to make it so that I could add like effects to the actual thing so that the, like everything would bounce in and bounce out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It takes a while. Um, the teleportation sent me to the weirdest American politics rant broadcast after Coda Sprints the other day. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, that's Why? because my stop is the last stop on the train. Yeah. So you get teleported to a random location. You just get teleported to the to whatever video is going to pop yeah. up. In your feed Although next. you could, because I, I, I think you've got to have a certain amount of subscribers before you can add well, people. So I think, like, yeah. Well, and also, if you have your YouTube, you need to go into your YouTube settings. Because if you're mm. YouTube, because YouTube is automatically set to send you to the next video, like the mm. next suggested the video. Feature. Yeah. So, yeah. like, for me, like, a lot, like, it won't actually send me to the video. But what will happen is, like, I'll be watching something. And then when the video ends, it'll pop up with like a suggested video. So if my mm. autoplay was on, it would play that video. Now, usually it's like a book video. It's like somebody's vlog or something. But Right, but yeah. even if you turn autoplay off, the teleportation doesn't work. Mm. Well, yeah, but I don't... Well, so my autoplay is off, but my, teleporta my teleportation still works. Yeah. Which I know because last night when I was at work, or the other night when I was at work, what, Tuesday? Mm. I was at work and I was on Britney's sprints. I was watching Britney's and it sent me to Nicole's after. Mm. I had to turn my auto So my my okay. teleportation still works even though my autoplay is off. And it it works for me too because I've gone from I've gone from Vanessa's to Leandra's the other day. But do you have uh, autoplay? No, I have it turned off. Yeah, my my autoplay has been off for like every time on the I phone, I, I should I should have you at that. That's on my phone. I don't know yeah, about the TV. Phone. I though. don't. I yeah. don't watch things on my. Well, I do watch things on my TV, but not really anymore because now Ari is always watching the TV, um, mm. and I don't watch. And I don't watch YouTube usually on my laptop. Usually, I'm only using my laptop. Honestly, my laptop sits dormant unless I'm actually live streaming. Mm. I use my laptop if I'm on sprints, regardless of whether I'm streaming or on somebody's stream. Because yeah, I know. I type faster on the keyboard than, and yeah. you know, me, I got to say a lot of things when I'm in the chat. Yeah, so, yeah and yeah, I you're tried... a bit of a chatty Kathy in the, the in other the... day. <laughs> I was just on the laptop and I wasn't casting it to the TV mm. and it didn't teleport me. Yeah, oh. I, I, oh, type, I type just as quickly on my phone as I do on my laptop. Plus, my phone moves around the room with me most of the time. Mm, so true. like moving around my room or the house or whatever so if i'm watching somebody sprints it's almost always on the phone it's it, yeah. so occasionally it will be on the tv if i'm actually going to be like sitting on my bed the whole time but i i my laptop at this point is basically non-existent like this is why i keep saying i need to just get a gaming laptop because if i had a gaming laptop that could like i don't know support the sims which mine cannot um, then I would use my laptop a lot more to like mm -hmm. play the Sims, but um, I love the Sims, okay? Leave me alone. I like building houses, but I do not um <laughs> use my laptop for anything except my spreadsheets. Like, I always have my spreadsheets open, my stream yard is always open, and then my net galley sits open because it's a little bit easier to navigate net galley on the computer than it is on my phone. Um, but otherwise, I don't use my laptop for nothing i use my ipad for everything you'd probably so. scream if you saw how many tabs i have open on my laptop well oh, usually I have. I have a lot like right now i only have two four six right now i only have nine which that's weird uh because usually what happens is i have like a thousand amazon links open that all have like different kindle unlimited books that i want to read and i'm like constantly like moving those around and so usually I have a tab that just says books and then you, and then it's deceptive because I have it shrunk down. But then when you open it, it's like 500 tabs, to be honest. Um, thanks, Faye. I'm pretty happy about that. My accountant, however, was not. <laughs> I bet. Because <laughs> it's small. Because <laughs> it's small and, it's, and he's, um, 
He goes, I was wondering what was going on with all these books that you were buying from here, there and everywhere. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, now you know. Um, oh, I missed that one. Uh, I hope a disliking, uh, it has taken it out of my autoplay options for the future. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah maybe. The oh, the I'm thinking, what are you disliking? I was confused there for a moment. Uh, hey, Courtney, how are you going? I'm ready to sit down and read. Uh, yeah, no. A lot of people that I know haven't read it either. Uh, Vanessa here and still lurking. Awesome. Uh, Sam is uh, someone from the past. On this channel, they used to be referred to as Mr. Reading Winneva. They, I only started actually putting their actual, I mean, I only started, wow, I hit mute, sorry, occasionally putting, there's a mute button, <laughs> I only started referring to them by their actual name very occasionally on my channel when I need, they're also referred to sometimes as Ari's dad, because that's easier, mm -hmm. um, but you know who they are, just yeah. not who they are. Uh, watching the Scorch Trial Second Maze Runner while prepping uh, Patience Files for next week. Awesome. Nice and productive. Getting a head start. Have you um, read the Runner books, Nicole? No. They're good. I have. Okay, cool. I I've seen like, the movie, I think. I feel like the books are better than the movie. Yeah, yeah. for sure. 100%. Um, Jean's surprised that I don't own Sarah J. Mass. Mm. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, just got two chapters in uh, red for. Oh, start again. Uh, <laughs> reboot. <laughs> two chapters read of False Hearts and a Fairy Tale. I think next sprints I'll need to be an audiobook. My eyes are getting tired. I've been up since 4 30 this morning. Go have a nap. <laughs> next sprint is a, is a nap. nap sprint. <laughs> uh, I'm not a mod, uh, but. Uh, here is the link for that announcement video. Oh, that probably didn't go through. <laughs> yeah. Um, I watched, and Christina I, put it. I am almost done watching it. That's the other thing I did during this. I was just, that's oh. why I was late because I was in the middle of, in the back. Yeah, I was well, I was watching the Smut Teller one. Um, yeah. I was, I, I also did a, a booktube one as well. So, yeah. Um, that was the link. Uh, does Coda miss his arc? I doubt it. I have not heard anything from those people. They probably think I'm a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rachel. How are you? Uh, sorry, my laptop decided to take a nap right then. That is fine. That is fine. Uh, I, too, am not a Cassandra Clare girl. I kind of, uh, I think if I found them at 14, I might have been into them. Yeah, so I mean, I did find them at 14, and I just, I don't care. I didn't like them then either, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Chris, there was a uh, watch party yesterday in the Discord, and we watched Tremors together, which is mm -hmm. like one of my all-time favorite horror movies of ever, ever, ever. So that was a lot of fun. And watching Kevin Bacon that young made me want to watch Wild Things. So I watched Wild Things again after Wild that. Things. Yeah. I was like, oh, now that we've seen Kevin Bacon, let's go see Kevin's let's Bacon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's just go over here and check out that. <laughs> uh, well, I'm see, I'm gonna watch that myself today. Yeah, Wild things, things, dude, that movie yeah. is so good and it holds up still to this day. It's just, mm. it's even though you know, like everything that's gonna happen after you've seen it and all the twists, it's still, it's yeah. just so entertaining. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, that was the Escape the Readathon link. No worries. Hello to Courtney. Everybody yelling out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the sprints. I think I will uh, lay down. Sign a, sign a spread. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, that is two, oh, that two Chloratabs, one Sudafed, and up to four ibuprofen. Take them all at once. Yeah, just smash that out of your face. I will. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was a and yeah. it was that's a doc, doctor's cocktail i didn't make it i was gonna say that that sounds like a, a doctor's cocktail for sure on um, that because that's the same with, with um when i get my headaches so i don't have to take if i've got to work they've like just take this take this take this and it, and it does if i catch it like it's now it's a twinge before it gets to a migraine 
So yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> give me all the drugs. I'm no, fine. Let's well, get rid of it. <laughs> I'll take them all. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> um, naked and afraid alone is much be- uh, alone is much better. Are they naked on alone? <laughs> no, I don't think they are. <laughs> I don't think they are. Uh, a good night, Alicia. I hope you feel better soon. Yes, I do too. Um, sprints and breaks in timely manner. Who are they? <laughs> We, well, are we are imposters. Comments, so I think we're still us. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, how do we read a, a weed <laughs> reading break? A we reading break uh, to watch people in America get arrested at work on YouTube. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> that was the extent oh, of, of I my saw your face when Nicole said weed. <laughs> it's just like, huh? <laughs> you, you say what now? Yeah. No, so I saw somebody getting arrested the other night on my way home from work. Oh, sweet. It's always I was, good. I've seen it across the road. I've seen taserings across the road I at my neighbors. I was just like walking down <laughs> the street. There, popcorn, filming. <laughs> well, by walking, I mean dancing. I'm quite embarrassing at 2 o'clock in the morning, to be honest. Um, So I was, you know, just dancing down the street, listening to my music, you know, singing to myself. And I look over and the, the liquor store here, like, closes at 2 a.m., but there were like three cop cars just sitting there with like two other cars and they were like talking and stuff. And then I kept, I mean, I was watching them because I'm nosy as hell. But like I was watching, but I was like, across the street and I was like, I just kept like walking. And like I made eye contact with one of the cops and he just like waved at me as he like put this lady in his car. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, Kay is reading Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. Awesome. Elena got 200, got two, 252 pages, 54% and 21 chapters are read. I love Elena's breakdowns. I mean, 53. <laughs> uh, hello, Sherry. How are you? Sheree. Sheree. Sorry. Sure, yep. Said it, yep. Said it wrong. Sorry. Uh, hi, everyone. I should have just read what was in brackets. Instead of the first one, you know, I'm doing all the things here, people. Uh, hi, everyone. Hope everyone is well. Joy reading, watching a scandal a dropping a like. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate it. How's scandal going? I love I scandal. Watch- I, watched, I, I, I watched it when it was like running on TV every week. I watched mm-hmm. it with, um, my son's mom because she is in love with Carrie Washington. Um, and I honestly like that. Sh- I don't know what it is about Shonda Rhyme shows, but like, you're just good, you know. Mm-hmm. They will also punch you in Have the you face read and rip your her heart book, out. Um, A Year of Yes? No, I don't know if I want to read that. Is it's it good. No, it's not heartbreaking. It's about saying it. She was very much when she, I don't even know whether it was when she first came into the limelight but she used to say no a lot and her sister I think it was her sister or her cousin pointed it out that she always says no so she did a, an experiment where she mm-hmm. did she said yes within reason so you're not going to hurt yourself you know obviously right. if you've got other things but she started saying yes to things and her whole life turned around on that oh, because as, intro- as introverts we get very negative with ourselves and we do say no a lot because we don't want to put ourselves out there and um, and creatives also do it as well. Most creatives are usually introverts as well. Um, and so it was a really good book. Uh, it's a nonfiction, evidently, but um, well, yeah. I mean, maybe yeah. I should maybe I should read this then. Yeah, I, 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 like I, I actually implemented it in place, and it actually I did it for a, a year. I I did the same thing. I implemented it. I started saying yes. Obviously, if I couldn't do something right then and there then I would say yes I would go but can we do it here and you know move it around for schedule and stuff like that but it it, it improved relationships with people it improved um, relationships with my kids as well like because they were at that stage where they were just hiding out in their room and then they'd only come out when I was working so then I started to defer things and they were pretty good so yeah um I highly recommend it so yeah I'll check this out. Um, I'll, I'll wait until I'm off read what you're you on. I'll I'll read it with you for sure. Okay, then I'll wait until COVID. And I'll I'll, re- I'll I'll reread it with you as well if you want. I like my like fun. That, like- a group buddy read. Let's do it. 
It's like we haven't got 400 already on the go. No, no, right? <laughs> oh, it's such a shock. We're reading together. Oh, my actually, goodness. Actually, it's like, me with, it's like me with walls that have empty space. I'm like, oh, there's empty space right there. Space, right. Space 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 space. Actually, I was, you know, at the Walmart <laughs> yesterday. Um, I was at the Walmart, a town over, and um, my friend that I was at the Walmart with uh, picked up Holly by Stephen King, and I was like, mm-hmm. you know, you have to, me, the book nerd, right? I was he, he he was like, oh, I wanted to read this, and I was like, you know, you have to read Mr. Mercedes first. And he just like looked at me, and I was like, I told you the other day when you were going on and on and on and on and on about Dark Tower that like I've read Stephen King. Mm. I told mm-hmm. you that. And he was just like looking at me and then he was like, well, I know I have to read Mr. Mercedes first. I was just saying. Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keeper, End of Watch. The yeah, Outsider, well, I did and I if, did say if, that I was pretty sure that there were more books than that, but I was like, but you at least have to read. I was like, I know for a fact you have to read Mr. Mercedes first. I'm sure mm-hmm. he spoils the ending in Holly because he, he does it all the time. And then he mm. was like, he was like, I know you have to read that first or whatever. And then I looked at Crescent City 3 again because I'm, I don't know. I own like the Amazon version of it. Like I pre-ordered that version so it doesn't have a special ending. But the Walmart version has a special ending in it that I kind of want. And so I keep debating with myself whether I'm going to spend $30 on a hardback. So I can't you just, just. Can't you read up to the where the point where the special ending comes in and then walk around reading the book and save yourself 30 bucks? I mean, I probably could. They probably wouldn't even say go me. read the special at my at the store. At my Walmart, <laughs> you just have it on your trolley, honest, walk around. Oh, okay. To, to be honest with you, I could probably sit in the aisle and they wouldn't say anything to me. Yeah, true. Uh Jamie only finished about 20 pages. <laughs> They'd probably be like, finished. Are you okay? And I'd be like, Yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm reading this book. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Jamie read 20 pages uh, because got distracted looking up readathon announcements for next month. That's fair enough. Uh, I find it amusing that the blue beautiful world was described as dealing with climate change. Right? I've got an hour and something to go, and I think there's only been one mention that the waters rose. Like, nothing about climate change. Like, I thought it was going to be a cli-fi, which I could get down with, you know, but Maybe it'll come in the last thirty percent, like my arc. In the last page, like what? I'm, I'm, like I'm, I'm yeah. not really finished. Cue the tycoon. <laughs> Cue the tycoon. Oh dear me! I'm gonna start saying um, that every time something goes not the way it was supposed to. I'm gonna be like, oh, cue the tycoon. Tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is random. <laughs> Uh, I finished our chapters and then read a chapter of a Guild by Raven Kennedy. Then I had to stop and look up fan art of Orin. Is that how you present Orin? Orin. Orin, Orin and Orin? Orin? Wiggins, yep. yes. Yep. So, yeah, so Guild is a, um, it's like a, it's a King Midas retelling. Okay. And Orin, I believe, is the main character, but she is gold. Like, she's made of gold. She's like might it like she's his most prized possession so he keeps her in a cage mm-hmm. okay that's all i know about this and mm-hmm. i also know that the first book opens with like a two-page orgy but that's all i really know because i read the first chapter oh. of it of it and then it's it's like one of those it's kind of like zodiac academy where it's one of those kindle unlimited like series oh, right. that's like not great but like people read it anyway you know yeah uh, Chris is telling me that uh, I took the Blue, Blue Beautiful World to be a group of warring fractions slash planets and plan to bring peace to the planet, to the galaxy, not the planet. So, yeah. That, okay. Well, I'm understanding it then, right? That's fine, man. That's like me with, with what you would call it, with that classic we read. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, well, I'm understanding it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do get sure. it now. Okay. Uh, the problem is there are no um, breakdowns of this or anything like that. And it's like, what the hell? Um, Maria got to 71%. I should be able to finish with a one or two more sprints. That is awesome. Um, oop, clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, strips off skin that come off her back. Yeah. And then she can control them. 
It, I mean, no. it is pretty kind of. It's it's yeah. It's weird. It's kind of gross. That's I that's a little bit I icky. Know. Listen, I, I, was, I mean, I'm down for reading it, but like I'd I'd pick that up and read it. But just when you're not prepared for that, that's what yeah. you're gonna read. You're like, listen, like that's a bit icky. No, no pun intended. The uh the orgy scene like kind of sucked me in, and then after that, I didn't really care anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah. the orgy scene always sucks you in, doesn't it? <laughs> like I said, no pun intended. <laughs> I was gonna say that's my eyes <laughs> And on that note, we are going to another sprint. We will see you in an hour. Happy reading, everybody.
Oh, hello. We are back. How did everybody go during that sprint? Got myself in a bit of an angle. Uh, I finished the wedding proposal. So this is like so cute. It was only like an hour and a half long or something. Um, but I'm going to warn for like death of a parent and also like sickness of a parent i don't know how else to really put that okay um but it was like super cute and then i like kept sliding down because i started crying at the end and that's embarrassing to do on the internet so <laughs> even though probably i should just prepare myself because we're reading the last two harry potter books so probably at some point you're gonna see me cry on the internet um and then i started the perfect play and i don't know if i like this one or not the man narrator I don't really like his voice that much, but, like, the story is cute. What was the one that you just finished? Was that the wedding proposal? Yeah, I'll send you a screenshot of what yeah, it I is. Think I, I think I read it during. It's an Audible exclusive, right? Yeah, it's an, like, it's one of the Audible originals. Like, it's part of your, like, if you have Audible Premium. It's premium, part yeah. Um, yeah, it was, like, I, super cute. It had, it had, like, full, like, sound effects and... Like a oh, maybe album. that's on my list because I've got a list where I put those, like a, a wish list. I put them in there yeah. for readathons. So yeah, maybe it's, it's, super, it's super cute. I put it because, like, now you can do collections on Audible. Mm. So I put it in my short books collection. Okay. Um, people constantly are asking me for, like, especially, like, short romances. Mm -hmm. And this one was, like, super cute. Like, it felt like you were listening to a movie. Yeah. Because it had like it had they've like some, they've got some really good ones on there. Like I've listened to some you. pretty short um, Audible exclusives. Yeah, and I mean, if you just go to like the Discover tab, like what I always do is I go to Discover and then I go to Originals or I go to Audible Plus. Yeah, because some of the originals you do have to like buy. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I'll usually go to the Originals or I'll go to the Audible Plus, and then if you go to Audible Plus, those are all included with your membership, so they have, like, kids ones. It, like, this is how I find books for Ari, too. Yeah. So. Yeah, pretty good, I guess. I think I'm gonna give it five stars, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know why I've been giving these novellas, like, five stars. I guess they've just been so good. Because I don't usually give novellas five stars. Yeah. Um, well, how did, uh, did you get it? Just that and the other one you were saying, I interrupted you, you were talking about it. Yeah, so. the perfect play. Ah, uh, it's like, it's a football romance mm -hmm. and it's like brother's teammate. It's like Vegas wedding. I don't, mm, I don't know. The dude, like the man's voice is kind of annoying. I don't like it. Like it. He talks like in a monotone. Yeah. And I kind of hate it. So uh, I don't know that I'm going to continue that one. I think I'm going to not continue it. <laughs> well, if you're not driving with the, um, excuse me, if you're not driving with the um, narrator, then just move on because, like, they don't cost anything. So, yeah. yeah. How'd you go, Kaida? Um. I did some more work in the library. Mm -hmm. And I got to chapter 14 in Rebecca. Cool. And I chatted a bit. I jumped over to Atia's sprints and hit the like button over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she's going to come this way when she's done. And then, um, yeah, that was about it. It, was, <laughs> it seems like I got a lot more done than... <laughs> But when you're working, when you're working on something like pulling a room apart, you get a lot done. Like yesterday, I didn't start pulling my room apart until, um, because it's like change of season, so like clothes had to go away, clothes had to come out. I didn't like take my furniture out or anything, but just all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was going to go for a nap when I walked in there, and there was stuff on my bed, so I moved that, and that was the catalyst for it. And then like four hours later, I walk out of my room, go, yeah, that's that. I'm happy with that. Back in the wall all the bing and and whatnot so yeah um i put the yeah. bookcase that i put the book the new bookcase where i thought i wanted it and i don't think mm -hmm. i like it so. mm. 
There might be yeah. a lot of arrangements too. I've got to strip some walls that um, in the next couple of weeks. I'm trying to work out where on weekends I can just like I'm thinking that I'm just going to go in there on a Sunday because I generally don't do anything on a Sunday except lounge around and read. And I'm thinking I could probably make this a productive day considering I read every other day. Uh, <laughs> so I should probably get in there so I can get my library done. Um, like last night I was going to go in there and start. But I sat down, had some dinner, and I was watching the psychology of IKEA and how they set their stores up and all that sort of stuff. I got the same look from my daughter as well. She's just like, what? Why are you watching this? I'm like, it's interesting. Like the opening line was, the moment you walk into the, into the shop, IKEA is manipulating you to buy. And then they go proceed to explain why they set their stores up the way they set them up, what their um, company philosophy is, and all the things. And they had like ex employees, people that were CEOs, um, display people like who would just work on the displays, why everything is sat where it is, and um, how IKEA is taking over the world. And they even had like little challenges because like IKEA is the flat pack. Yeah. kingdom right so they had challenges with couples to see how well they did with putting the flat packs together i will say the gen x's nailed it however <laughs> the other people that did it not so much <laughs> that like one of them the young couple on there like the youngest couple on there actually broke bits off to make it fit and i'm like dude what are you doing and then there was this other couple that were like, they just went, I'm not putting the covers on the on the drawers. That that's it, we're done. <laughs> What's the name of this? Doc oh, I'd have. Uh, it was on SBS. It was on our free to air. On oh. um, that, uh, it wasn't on YouTube or anything. It was actually on TV. Um, here in Australia, we have a, a thing called SBS, and I I think it was just called mm -hmm. IKEA. Um, and. Oh, I'll have to. I'll, I'll see if I can get it to come back oh, up. Flat pack in. Maybe, yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, if I didn't really look at the title because I wasn't searching for it, it was actually just regular TV. Uh, in that sprint, I ha I got a lot more done on my book. And if I hadn't have, if I had just listened a little bit longer, I would have worked out what was going on. So thank you, Chris, to giving me the heads up because when that arrived, it made so much more sense. And I got the bottom row of Central Perk done um which is good so and i started uh finished up this side and then i've moved up to the co first coffee cup i'm just doing it in rows so yeah all right let's have a look what else is going on in the comments um uh, i didn't even realize that you were sprinting jess sorry i would have told everybody to go over and like your video i didn't even realize i have not been on youtube this morning i've just been in back of house that's it i haven't really looked um, except for Vanessa's, um, which was only like five minutes of that. I still haven't finished it either. <laughs> so I do apologize. I will go over and like the video anyway. Um, uh, but read two chapters of The Stand with my ears. Libby loved me. Yeah. And and uh, it's my nap time. Awesome. I approve of nap time. I'm all down for the nap time. I don't get to have nap time on Fridays. Sometimes I do though, and then because I, I I normally finish up here, and then I go and meet up with a stitching group that I do um, stitching with online. Um, and the last couple of weeks, uh, well, last week I worked back, and um, the, and then the girls like I've done this, and then the girls were here. I think it was the week before that that I was on till late because it was the 12 hour one, and other weeks where I've gone in, had dinner, and then fell asleep, woke up the next morning, got oh sorry. <laughs> fell asleep. I'm sorry. Oops. Uh, hello, Julia. How are you? Uh, thanks for joining. Appreciate you being here. Uh, we vacuum our, our walls. Uh, we don't have textured walls. Um, it sucks up the dust instead of throwing it in the air. Yeah. Um, that, um, but I'm paying for it because it, inevitably you still get some dust from moving stuff out of cupboards and everything. So um we're on harry potter six okay cool uh hello deb how are you back from a morning coffee with girlfriends we'll start some work soon maybe yeah i'm feeling you uh, got it. 
Ah, Geneva's Grotto. Oh. Did you move your microphone while we were on break? Nicole? No. Oh. Sorry, apparently what the roommate. Doing, apparently the roommate's <laughs> cat got out. All I could hear is meow, meow, meow. Uh, <laughs> and it usually stays upstairs, like in her room. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to figure out if it was Nicole's cat that I heard. Or and then I was like, no, that's like rats on my door. So I guess her cat fucking got out. So you could have Geneva's grotto. That's true. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I just hate using my full name, bro. Yeah, no, that's fine. It makes me so um, cool. like no what like no one in my life calls me my whole name. Like my grandma does. But that's your grandma. I guess She's the person, use your full name. I guess like my friend, you know, my mm -hmm. friend that's here. I guess he calls me by my full name. I don't know why he does that. It's weird. His mom does not though. His mom calls me Neva. Because mm -hmm. that's how I introduce myself to her. But when he asked her to get when he asked her to get a hold of me um for reasons he used my full name and so she was like i was trying to she was like it took me a couple days to find you on facebook because your name is not like your full name on facebook mm. and i was like no it definitely is not <laughs> it has not been for literal years um he calls me my full name but i think it's the way he says it mm. that makes it okay Mm -hmm. But he also tends to only use my full name if I'm being, like, scolded for something. Which, that sounds stupid because we're, like, adults. But you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Otherwise, he just mm -hmm. uses, like, pet names. I don't think he really even calls me by my name. Mm -hmm. And Sam used to call it my full name until the one day that he yelled my name from downstairs and I was upstairs and I thought that either like I had done something which there was no way because I got I wasn't even like in the house near him mm. um or something had happened like the way that he yelled my name made me like freak out and so then so now he only call he just calls me G mm. <laughs> so I'd probably get I would have like Neva or G is what I would yeah like otherwise nobody calls me on my full name so yeah. when people do call me on my full name it makes me want, it kind of, it like gives me a visual reaction. Like it actually makes me sick to my stomach. That's fair. Plus you think you're in trouble too. Um, Shannon's saying, I've seen yeah. uh, BookTube describing the blue beautiful world as a pop star who wants to retire. How is that sci-fi? I didn't read it and um, people made it sound ridiculous. Um, because it says it on the back. It actually says it in the synopsis that um, there's a group of people that come together um and the earth is making first contact with aliens and um he is their secret weapon because he is casual uh, like he is able to um win the people over and he think they think that he'll be able to do it as well that's what it says on the back of the book however <laughs> there is a big however it is a lot more than that <laughs> so yeah um I'm a little, I'm a little bit confused, like what they're doing right now. But I've sort of, it's sort of the pennies all just sort of dropping into place now. So yeah. Um, hello Emily, how are you going? Got back from the hairdressers and hoping to finish uh, Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas today. Awesome. Um, teleportation does not work for me unless I have it on on the TV, right? Uh, hey Vanessa, uh, keyboard calamities for. <laughs> With Coda. <laughs> uh, that uh, may be why I hit uh, the go now on my laptop because autoplay is off. That that makes sense. Uh, but it works on TV without having any, to do anything. Uh, nine. No. Why are we? Why are we speaking German? Like this is German, right? Nine. Yeah. Yeah. This is like this is all I but that's yeah. yeah, I know what it means, um, but know what? I mean, maybe Rachel doesn't teleport. <laughs> maybe I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's I'm the nine. only thing. I, I got an A in German at school, and that's probably the only word that I know what it means. <laughs> I mean, I always try to mute myself, and then my brother comes in here and starts talking to German because I feel I'm just like, nobody needs to hear all this. And then 
And then I got kind of yelled at by Brittany like a couple weeks ago, like right after we moved. Because mm. like, we were talking about it. And I was like in her sprints, but like in the comments. And I was talking about it. And she was like, Neva, how are we best friends? I didn't know that you could speak German. And I was like, I, I don't go around just like announcing to people that I can do it because they want me to like do it like it's a freaking party trick. No, thank you. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Kitty always now in bed. Oh, what to do, what to do. Uh, read. Uh, a buddy read. What a novel idea. I know, right? Especially like with us three. <laughs> like we've never done a, we, we've never done a buddy read before. Just so y'all know. No. Yeah, never. We were working on funnel read, but we were working on funnel reads in the background, <laughs> like during the sprint. Actually, over, like, I was telling, I was, book? I was telling <laughs> Brittany today on her sprints. I said, I think the person that I have actually buddy read the most with in the last like couple of years is Kelsey. Mm -hmm. And it started because like Brittany introduced me to Kelsey. But Kelsey and I didn't really necessarily, like, hit it off right away. You know what I mean? We're both pretty, like, introverted, like, people. Like, we're not really trying to make friends. Um, and then she posted to her story that she was going to read Bear Town, And I messaged her. And just because I invite myself to things all the time. And I just invited myself to read it with her. And then now we buddy read. <laughs> hence, how hence how Neva's here every week. That's how, yeah, that's how I'm here every week. I just invited myself one Thursday and never left. So. <laughs> that's fine and i'm happy with it because i think it's worked out really well it has worked out really well and then like three weeks in i was like nicole if you ever want to like just kick me off and she was like oh no you're it's good it's fine and i was like okay great well i just invited myself so that's how i get people to love me i force my way into their life <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> hey, it's a strategy and evidently it works. So why would you go against it? Why would you go against it? And she uh, wants to get to know me. You love me, so it's fine. That's, that's exactly right. There's that, what's not to love? That's, right? That's exactly it. I shared a thing on Facebook the other day that was like, um, if you meet me and you don't get along with me, it's you. Because <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, like, like, what, yeah, do you mean? what do you mean? Did you? I, I put up a post today on my Facebook. I rarely accept if it shares, excuse me, from um, Instagram. I actually put a friend of mine sent me something this morning, cracked me up. I do want someone. Applications are open. <laughs> You'll have to be on my Facebook to see it. Um, oh, sorry about that, Shannon. Just took your question. I said, no. <coughs> segments on the stream no i don't think so. uh i will not be reading the women's prize long list i'm not even gonna read the short list i'm not even gonna read a single book on either list except for the book that i was forced to read by osmosis thank you <laughs> that was pod um coda will no, you be saying well, yes okay, to I the guess, restaurant delivery guy i guess pod will be the yeah, or something or move <laughs> it's a new type delivery guy he's equally oh. nice but yeah, and and it probably would have been a no anyways. <laughs> I don't think the Thai guy was uh, old enough. <laughs> I mean, probably fair, old but... enough, 18, but, like, probably not old enough. Well, if you're into not Robin. Not old enough Ida. for you. We understand yeah. what you mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is the glossary there in the audio book? Oh. <gasps> No, I don't think so. It's not referring to it. It's not telling me anything about it, but it might be there. I might have to go and have a look at that. Um, uh, I bookmarked it and it helped me with a lot. I sort of have the the, uh, the the pop star is confusing me. Is he alien? Is he not? Is he what? <laughs> what is he besides a pop star? That's what's um, confusing me. Um, so, yeah. But I will check that out because that will probably help straighten all that bit out uh sarah's gone off to bed thanks for the sprints and i hope everyone has a great rest of their day uh probably long gone because that was like an hour and 15 minutes ago thereabouts uh roger tingle does this guy that's in my head I have no idea what Christine is. I haven't been on sprints. I have no idea what people are reading or anything like that. Um, he does on Facebook tell Vanessa. I would just like to say that my subscriber at, count is at the devil's number. And I don't really know how I feel about that. Oh, will someone please go over and subscribe? Oh, please. Just give me one please, more person. 
Yeah, uh, just, just my, someone. Because I oh. opened it to make sure that nobody had commented more because people have been commenting on my community tab, which is really nice. And I haven't like replied yeah. to everybody, but I have hearted everybody's comments. I just don't really know what to say other than what I said. And also I cried when I wrote that post, so that's fine. Um, but I looked at my subscriber account and this is the devil's number, and I'm like, you know, be good. Yeah, for I me. got when I got that, I but, sat on that for like a week and like, a half, and I'm like, people. I'm like, good for me, <laughs> but also like, can we just get like one more person? Just one more. And no one unsubscribe. Just stay there. Just, <laughs> so just one more on person number. upward. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of conversation happening here. I don't need to butt into your conversation, right? Cool. All right. <laughs> Good night, Sarah. Uh, I fell. Uh, uh, I fell. I into that should be a uh, nappy nap. Miss the chat. So I think you're still sleeping. <laughs> you're gonna go by. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> that's not coherent. You must have been texting in your sleep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good i had the weirdest dream last night i'm not going to go into details but um because it was just it was just so weird but someone woke me up that loud in my dream it, like it they were that loud that they said this word in the dream that i woke up and answered them and went what <laughs> oh i've done that before and i'm like oh i was asleep no one's here <laughs> like they said my name with such force that I like I woke up and went what? It's just like what the hell? I've had why, that happen with wake me at six o'clock in the morning. Rude. I was asleep. <laughs> I've had that happen where I think that Ari is because sometimes in the middle mm. of the night Ari will be yelling like mom, mommy. Or like she'll wake up in the middle of the night, she'll think that I'm at work and she'll be like, Mom! Like she'll do that. And there was one night that I like had a dream where where it happened. And I mean, I sat bolt upright and I was like, what, Ari? <laughs> and then I looked and then like she didn't answer me. So I like turned like the flashlight on my phone and I looked over and she's knocked out. Like she didn't say not, nothing to me. <laughs> uh, hello, how are you? I finally got some free time to read before going to bed. I'm reading Role Playing by Kathy Yardley. Uh, is this the last sprint? No. This is we're here. We're we're well. The two other people are night owls, and I'm in daytime. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon for me. So, um, it's yeah, basically I'm not, two o'clock in the afternoon for me as well. It's really eleven oh three p.m. Yeah, uh, but I would still be at work right now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's yeah, we're, it's getting there for me. It's like yeah. it's ten, so we're approaching the pumpkin hour for Coda. <laughs> We will slowly start to see Coda sink into the couch, and then we'll come back, and he'll be like, "And I'll be hey, like, I'm going to bed good night." <laughs> and I have to try to stay up now until nine thirty in the morning because apparently I'm getting a phone call at nine thirty in the morning. Which, like, at least I was given a heads up this time. Usually, it just happens where I like just go to sleep, and then my phone buzzes, and I'm like, "Hello," and then I get, "Are you asleep?" I'm like, "Mm-hmm." But today, I got my phone. I got my phone call, and then he was like, "I'm gonna call you in the morning." And I was like, "Okay." Well, morning for me and morning for him are two different times. And he was like, "Yeah, like 9:30." And I was like, "Cool. I will prepare myself for that then." That's fair. Uh, hello, Selena. How are you? Uh, I'm attempting to write a lab report today. Attempting be the key word there. Yeah, that's that's okay. You're here, so I'm assuming that's been pushed right. to the side and books have been pulled out <laughs> uh finish the the love uh dead I fed the inside cats and watched some youtube awesome productive on uh page 104 and ready to quit for the night nice pro progress though uh read 32 pages of pinata by uh leopold leopoldo, leopoldo gout gout that looks like gout to me yeah, I'm, I was going to say, gout, that's an unfortunate last name. That's a real, that's terrible, but that's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, hello, maybe how are you? Hey. Maybe the T is silent. Maybe it's goo. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, just, <laughs> so many things come to mind. <laughs> but I'm not say. Any, I'd rather, I'd rather my last name be gout, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> 
I was just thinking the same thing. I'll take gout, thanks. <laughs> if I have to choose, gout it is. <laughs> 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 nobody said ever i'll take the gout <laughs> leopoldo goo could you imagine no like no just no oh my God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. maybe it's uh, good go what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, hello, <laughs> how are you? Yes, you've come to the crazy place <laughs> where we've all you worked arrived. out that we're all trash. Um, <laughs> this is the trashy channel now <laughs> for every more. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, look, you gotta, you gotta mix it up, right? Uh, sure. watching a show with hubby. Hello, Stevie, how are you? Thank you for joining. Uh, finished Harry Potter 3 and now on to Rebecca. That is awesome. Um, I am hoping to get this Women's Prize for Fiction book finished so I can move on to Rebecca. But then I'm thinking maybe I should just re listen to the third one that I need to do and then I'm done with the audiobooks for this week and I can read the 108 and then it'll be 186 pages left of the Women's Prize for Fiction if I do that. That sounds like <sighs> But I've got to psych myself up because I know the next two books are trauma field. Did you go buy ice cream? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the way she said no, she's like, um, no. No, <laughs> no I did not. Um, I have done really well to get through this entire list with no ice cream and no junk food, no nothing, no takeaway, no anything. I have just got through the entire thing. Um, it was a little personal challenge because, like, trauma books normally make me pig out on chocolate and all that sort of stuff, so I made myself a little challenge to replace that with healthy food, and that's what I've done. And I've actually lost three kilos doing that, so kudos to me <laughs> so yeah anyway uh thanks for the like coda <laughs> uh spontaneous cleaning sprints are always rewarding yes they are very much very much so i felt so good afterwards um and my room's all organized now too so yeah I've, there's a couple of cupboards i've still got to go through but they're for another day uh, nodding off with my finger highlighted words, reading via Kindle. <laughs> I'm going to call it. <laughs> so you've just highlighted everything in your Kindle. <laughs> I've you done go, this before. go and read over your notes and go, what the hell when is I, I've done. I've done this before, actually, like if I'm reading my Kindle and I'm like in bed or whatever and like I'm falling asleep, I'll like wake up the next day and I'll have like half a page highlighted and I'm like, what the hell did I highlight this for? <laughs> and it's just, and it's not even it, like. like it's like not even an important part of the book. It's like description or something. And I'm like, what the hell? Although I do, I do highlight descriptions when I think they're a really good, like in Rebecca when um, she's describing Mrs. Danvers as like sunken eyes and like a, a white skull on this a skeleton's like, frame. Like it couldn't have described her any better. And I this, highlighted that. This was, like a, this was that. like a romance where she was talking about like how dreamy the dude's eyes are. I don't use how dreamy the dude's eyes are. I mean, not enough to remember it anyway. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> um, Broke bits off to make it fit. I know, right? Like I was sitting there watching it going, what the hell are you doing? Why are you doing that? I need to see um, the show just for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just to see the things. Yeah, to like you know, the couple of bits that you get, like because they were also telling you how um they keep it all cheap and all that sort of stuff, and it was sticking out. They just broke it off to make it. I'm just like, oh my god. Uh PBS. Yeah, I knew what PBS um was. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's uh, fine. Night. Um, <laughs> that okay show reminds me of horror store, but without the zombies, maybe there was no zombies in it. I can I can confirm there was no no zombies whatsoever. Uh, going to bed. Good night, Jean. Uh, I have turned uh, turned autoplay off, uh, but I'm leaving you on the uh, TV. And uh, yeah, cool. Right, so we'll see you next time. Um, anybody else finding it staticky? Mm. No. That was back when I asked if your microphone had moved, but it, oh, okay. has, it hasn't been staticky since. Okay. 
No, I hadn't moved it. It it's, might it's... not even been you. It might have been the connection or something. Oh, yeah, possibly. Uh, nines. Um, this is a good one. What like this one? Oh, Neva's Neverland. <laughs> I like that one. Mm -hmm. We've well, got to what you've got to it too. Um, on the train. <laughs> So it's all good. All right. Uh, I like that one, Neva's Neverland. Yeah, I like that so, one. I, I think we're going to do that. Yeah, I like it better. Nook's out, Neverland's in. Plus, we know how I am with Nook and Top Peter Neverland. Peter. <laughs> we, know, we know how I am with a Peter Pan retelling, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. it's true. Um, all right. Well, we have um, not got to the end of the comments. What's Ever. that? <laughs> Ever. <laughs> the end of the we did okay concert. though because uh some like Jalisa Jalisa just came in, Atia was still sprinting, so we're not that far behind. We're only like six minutes mm -hmm. behind. Yeah. But anyway, we are going to go to a sprint because the time is set up and we're being very productive with our reading today because Nicole wants to get through the women's prize for fiction because oh, I've got shit to read. <laughs> and I keep looking at him. So yeah. Anyway. Let's go to, to our sprint and we'll see you all tomorrow.
Hello. I just realized my mic was in front of me. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit serial killerish. <laughs> Maybe has got a new hobby. <laughs> <laughs> How'd we go? Well, I gave up on that one book. I just could not stand the man's voice, truly. Okay. Um, okay. So I switched to 33 unplayed voicemails. And it's another, it is an Audible original, but it's another one that's like, I don't know what my obsession is with like the audible originals that have like full cast and they sound like a movie in your head because they got like you know like you hear like when they're driving a car you like hear the engine running and if they make a phone call like the phone rings i don't know what's so appealing to me about that but i'm listening to that and also a very exciting milestone has happened are you ready mm -hmm. i got my first paycheck from this taco bell <laughs> awesome <laughs> cashed up hey, and i mean it's it. not like it's by far like not a full like paycheck because mm. i started at like a weird time like in the pay period yeah. yeah um but it's about like half of what i would make in a regular like two week period but i like saw it and i was <laughs> i felt like i was 15 again you know <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Oh, that's funny. Uh, but at least you've been paid and it's all gone through smoothly. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank God. Because I was like, well, at my old Taco Bell, we got paid on Tuesdays. So mm -hmm. Tuesday this week came and went and I was like, where is my paycheck? I was freaking out. I was like, maybe I'm not getting one. Like, oh my God. Like, what the hell? So I, <laughs> so I text my, my GM and I was like, hey. Hey girl, um, because my GM is a woman, and I was like, "Hey, uh, what, what day do we get paid?" I was like, "Cause I realized I never asked," and she was like, "Oh, we get paid on Friday." And then no. here it is, Friday at, well, at twelve oh two, my paycheck came through. I'm playing around in the back because it went to the long break for some reason on the timer, so it's only given us a 10-minute talk, so talk quick, people. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's because you have it set for Pomodoro method, so it'll go, like what I do to combat this, is I set, yep. my, long, I set my long break and my short break for the same amount of time. That's yeah, I, I thought I did do that, but evidently I did not do that. Oh, well. So, well, anyway. I also... I'm so glad that like I used Flowkiss last week and or the week like last week or the week before, mm. and now and now everybody else is using it now too. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I found it by accident. I was gonna use like okay. this this study timer, the study IO mm -hmm. timer, mm -hmm. and then Flowkiss is made by them, and it was like, hey, do you want to try our our ambient timer? That's mm -hmm. so cool and ambient, and so I was like, sure. That's how it happened. Yeah, who wouldn't? Cool. <laughs> who wouldn't want an ambient timer? You know what I mean? Right. I'm easily influenced. <laughs> <laughs> um, I finished my book, Woo! and I did. I did the wrap up for it as well. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, so I did that. And I also did the Western Lane wrap up because I realized I hadn't done that because I, I edit my details in the phone. So when I transfer it over, I know exactly what it is. I don't have to sit there and go through 100 clips or whatever. So, yeah, I didn't do any midpoint check-in. And I think it's because these are the books that I was least interested in on the list because, um, of course, I have read the synopsis on these and I do that for the list. So... Um, and I did touch on that in my wrap up. So like, they're like, huh. like Western Lane, like it was a book. I read it. <laughs> it was a book that I read. Yeah. And that's, that's it. it. That's all Nicole has to say about that. But, but I, and that's, I think that's how I, I'm pretty, I was thinking that. So I'm pretty sure that's how I opened up the wrap up. It was a book. I read it. Yeah. 
I need to do I need to do a manacled update. I just want everyone to know this is a very rough book. I talked about it a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. You could definitely read this if you've not read the original books. Because there are things that I can't talk about right now because we're on book six. And if I talk about them, they will spoil things. But there are things that happen in a way that it does not happen in canon. Like, like I was reading, I'm not doing spoilers for the mm. Manicold vlog because I want people to read it if they want to read it. You know, and I'm not really a spoiler girly anyway. Um, mm-hmm. Or at least I'm not planning on doing spoilers. I'm thinking that what I might do is do like a special spoiler Patreon vlog. Yeah, like I would do that. I would do only that for Patreon. And then if you really want to watch it, it's there. Like it's, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, because there are things that I want to talk about that are not canon. Because Malfoy in this alternate reality, that man is real, and he is a man in this version. Uh, he is real ballsy. That's all I'm going to say. But also there is an entire like non-con scene. And thank God to the author because she definitely puts like a big like trigger warning thing right at the beginning of the chapter. And yeah. is like, I am not going to be doing this like depicting the r word um a lot in this book like in detail i mean it's throughout the whole book because it's like the handmaid's tale so if you ever watch that you know what i'm talking about Mm -hmm. or read it um but she was like but i'm not gonna be depicting this in detail but the first the first time that there is an interaction it's a handmaid's tale it's also a show on hulu yeah but the, fir- yeah. but the first like scene between Malfoy and her and Hermione, I'm just gonna tell you that this chapter was only like 10 minutes long and it took me an hour to read it. Okay. Because I had to keep lo- I had to keep looking away. I felt like it was not something I was supposed to be looking at. <laughs> um hey, handmaid's tale after Joy Luck Club and Anne. I mean, why not? Like, what else are we doing? You, you have it, don't you? <laughs> don't you need to read uh, stuff off your list? So that's yeah, enough. I'm gonna be. I have it. I'm gonna yeah. be honest. I've actually also mm-hmm. never read The Handmaid's Tale. I've watched mm-hmm. the show. All right, Barnacle on up. I guess we're it's all. Just, it's it's sci-fi, it. yeah. Uh it's dystopian. Dystopian, yeah. It's cool. it's like, dystopian. I'm like I've been totally like the premise spoiled on that. Like, the premise of it, and this isn't a spoiler, like, it would be in a synopsis. The premise of it is, like, if the world went to shit, and so women, the rich. What you're about to say is not on the synopsis. Okay, so it would, basically, the world has gone gone. to shit, okay? Mm. And so there's, like, now there's, like, a breeding program. For the rich. Because the women are infertile. That's what's, ha- that's, ba- that's what's happening. And the world's gone to shit. Also, the show is really hard to watch. Like, I think I stopped at, like, season three. Because I was like, this is just too much for me. To watch. But the show has um, Alexis Bledel in it. Mm-hmm. Which is the chick that played Rory in Gilmore Girls. Mm-hmm. Is a terrible show. I mean, terribly wonderful. You know what I mean? I mean <laughs> like it's terrible to watch, but it's like it's a but they did good with it. Does that make sense? I just read the synopsis. I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. If they, it's on I the back. Read, I haven't read the synopsis. Yeah, I'll I, just read it. I, I only I, I just stopped because I only read like we the, can the all first read sentence. it. We can all read yeah. it together. But yeah. I'm not, I haven't, I, because I didn't actually realize that The Handmaid's Tale was a book mm-hmm. until. It's a, it's a Margaret I, Atwood, isn't it? Yeah, it came out in like the 80s, like yeah. 87, I think. But I 
started the show because the show looked interesting and then like the show popped up and it was like based on the book the handmaid's tale and i was like what the hell but by then i was already watching it so uh 1990 1980 what five oh 1985 i mean i'm only two years away mm-hmm. you know just um yeah 1995 it came out great we'll be waiting soon <laughs> What are you up to on yours, uh, on your Read What Your Own Challenge, Kata? Uh, the Goosebumps books were 40, and I haven't finished anything since then, but that's because I'm in, like, the middle of everything right now. So, mm-hmm. uh, Rebecca should be the next one done. And then I still have Harry Potter and A Little Life and mm-hmm. Boy Luck Club and Anne and mm-hmm. Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> <laughs> so we should get you to 50 by the end of May. Oh, by the end of May, I should be well about 50, right? Because May, mm. we're going to, I'm doing horror. Just, yeah, horror mayhem. I'm going to do some short, some short horror too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Because you haven't read anything that hasn't been on your list this month, though, have you? Everything's been on your li- on your shelves to read. Except for the arcs, yeah. Mm. Cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, and um, the smut books first, Matella, they won't count. Yeah. But they're snack size, I'm thinking. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, the first, the first one, not it's not that long. I think that's only like 280 pages or something. Yeah, that's a snack. Yeah, and you're doing that on order audio anyway, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm gonna do it on that's audio. probably that's probably not a sound you should make when you're referring to smartphone. He's in. Watch, watch me just <laughs> unmute myself in the middle of sprints and be like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" <laughs> See how Vanessa and everybody reacts. He'd be like, oh. <laughs> in the of uh, I like how Vanessa put a warning on her thing that that if you've got kids, put your headphones on because I can't control. I know. I think that was directed at you, Kata. I know, I know, I love it. And she's like, not that we're going to be overly. Yeah. <laughs> like... She probably should have had them after dark, to be honest. Well, you can mark them 18 and up on. Yeah. On your upload or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It even asked, It even made me make sure I was 18 to watch <laughs> the preview. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, because you can because you can mark things to eighteen and up. Mm-hmm. Um. So did you you got more read in Rebecca? No, I didn't read. Um, that okay. I was. Uh, what did I do? God, it's so hard to remember sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's late too. So, um, I was gonna tally up my points for old school April mm-hmm, using mm-hmm. the spreadsheet. Um that Kelsey provided Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a cool spreadsheet because basically you just list what you've read or watched Mm -hmm. it has a column where you can kind of list which prompts each book or movie fits yeah um and then like a checkbox if you've submitted it on the actual google form and i haven't submitted anything because um the procrastinator and mm-hmm. <laughs> you can fit things to multiple prompts and so i haven't like gone through and done that yeah because there's that's- a ton of prompts <laughs> <laughs> let's see that i usually what i do with reads like if it's a book logging one um like because you've got to escape a room or whatever or you've got to move on to a next city or whatever or find a clue or whatever that the case is those ones i log as i go but things like that you don't necessarily have to log it every step i'll just have a piece of paper and write down everything and then just log it all at once because otherwise i just fluff around on my phone too much uh, i was sitting here on the laptop <clears throat> yeah so um and it's on google sheets Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the only inconvenience is like I have to the way it's set up is you've got your list of prompts for the books and the movies mm-hmm. and over to the side after that is your list that you can fill out 
So I have to keep scrolling back to look yeah. at all the prompts, and then I have to go through every single prompt for every single book to see, you know, yeah, if, if it fits multiple prompts. And I was like, this is taking too long. So I stopped and I started adjusting it on my own spreadsheet to where all the prompts are on the side as yeah. a column. And then mm -hmm. I have check boxes too. So now I can just check box shit and it'll count it for me. Yeah. Tell me awesome. what the point score is. So yeah, I'm almost done with that. That's cool. Um, uh, that's too technical for me. I, I still don't know how to use Google Forms properly. But nerding <laughs> out at like 11 o'clock at night is fine. I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually more used to, pe to people not knowing or remembering my name. So when people do call me by my name, I'm like, who are you? <laughs> how did you find me? Like me the other day when someone said I look different, I didn't recognize you. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> like... Who are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's some creepy ass stuff there that you didn't recognize me. What the hell is going on? <laughs> uh, Stevie read 100 pages in that last sprint uh, of Legendary by Stevie. Stephanie. Stephen. Stephen? Stephen. Stephanie. No, it's supposed to be Stephanie Garber. She yeah. just she just left. I think she had a typo in there. Yeah, okay. it's it, it's that it's Stephanie Garber. She that's part of the Caraval series. Well, okay, I like cool. Stephanie. Stephanie sounds wow. good too. It's like Seraphine. I love the name Seraphine. That's a pretty name too. Oh, I do like that name. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'll be. Uh, it'll be interesting to see your vlog when you describe the beautiful world. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, it was a book. I read it. Yeah. <laughs> We're two for two for the. Eh. <laughs> we're get we're getting into we're we're starting to get into um, uh, cursed bread and um, what was the other one? I can't remember. Oh, children of paradise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, the nine was in reference to Neva having nine tabs open. That oh. makes sense now. Uh, I freaked out. Uh, some friends when um, we went to Oktoberfest in San Diego and started speaking German to one of the kiosk clerks, uh, turned around to see them all looking <laughs> like I died. <laughs> That's fair enough. I probably would have done the same thing. Uh, love them into submission. That's it. That's Neva's demo. That's, that's what she does. <laughs> Uh, I saw Neva's subscribe account and was going to comment. Oh, well, Sadia went and subscribed, so we're no longer on the devil's number. Nice, nice. Thank God, because I was like, come on, man. I, I, I would subscribe to help, but I'm already subscribed. Yeah, Thank same. you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's the same. Like, I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, sorry, we got a little unhinged this morning in Vanessa's village and after hours chatty bits before noon that carried over to Brittanyburg. Okay. Um, I mean, what did I miss? Like, <laughs> it was like... just, you know, risque comments. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I'm sure I had nothing to do with it. No, oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, as a vegetarian, I developed B12 deficiency and started getting night terrors when um, I thought I was being attacked or murdered. Um, <laughs> I have to eat uh, B12 fortified foods to prevent night terrors. Uh -huh. uh, I take supplements every day because it's about the only way I could get through a day without nap like becoming like with narcolepsy where I'm just not off. B12 I mean, and caffeine are my friends. <laughs> I always forget to take my vitamins. I bought vitamins. Do I remember yeah. taking them? No. Yeah, well. <laughs> um, I want some label. <laughs> I don't. Chris, this is not like you. <laughs> Selena, are you saying uh, Neva's Neverland? Yes. I actually didn't mean to write it. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> uh, uh, sprint hopping. <laughs> yeah, not actually. Uh, 
actually meant to text <laughs> brain is not functioning it's fine it's fine happy reading glad my mistake turned into something good uh who could top neverland no one the place the girl who works there's these aratis <laughs> it surprised you it happens um <laughs> This is <laughs> <That's> perfect timing. <laughs> and that's why I clicked on it. <laughs> like, yeah, and it's right back at you. <laughs> um, Sadia was not feeling well and went off to bed, but that was like an hour ago. So if you're still watching, Sadia, I hope you feel better. Um, and I'll see you next time. And sleep well. Um, sorry to hear that. Uh it's amusing how the first main review of the Blue Book says that it's not a climate change book. Uh, I started to wonder if the judges read these books. I don't find it to be a climate change book either. Like, I, like there was some stuff about New York City where the water level rise because the levee bank broke, but that was, and there was something about water rising. And if it was said, it was so such a throwaway comment that my brain didn't even register it. Um, that so I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not <laughs> a climate change book so yeah finish my book yay so heading to bed good probably night. already gone <laughs> on that so good night thank you for stopping by we'll see you next time and congratulations on finishing a, finishing a book it's a nice way to end a day finish a book now I can nap Nothing hanging over your head. I need to finish a book. I feel like I haven't finished a book in a while. Yeah, you haven't. Or you just, or you just do what I do and just read short books. It's because I'm reading off. so many books all at once. Like Yeah, true. And but like, like next week you'll just finish them all. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Except for a little life. It might well maybe, maybe next week. I don't have that much left. It's just I want to read these other things too. Tell me in private message on Boxer where you're up to in exactly where you're up to in a little life. Oh, like content wise? Yeah, but tell tell it like not in the main chat group. Just yeah. Okay. No, I want I want to know too. So you can tell me too. Oh well, tell I'll, it in I'll the code. In, in the Nico. The Nico. Nico. That's how. <laughs> well, the way the way that the way that my uh. My Siri, because my Siri reads messages, right? So, like, when you guys send, if somebody sends a message to the Instagram, the Voxer just makes the noise. It doesn't, like, yep. read it or anything. Mm. But when a message is sent to the Instagram one, the way that, so I have, like, the British woman, like, the UK woman as mm -hmm. my Siri. And she'll be, like, message, or she'll be, like, Instagram from Nicole. That's <laughs> And every time she says it, I laugh. <laughs> it's funny because she like draws the e out. Yeah, does it knee coal? And I'm like, wow. Because okay. it had spelled in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it kills me every single time. Because uh, for, just so people know, the chat name is out in letters from our name put together to make it, and it still sounds like Nicole, but. She says it weird, like she's yee-hawing by the sounds of it. <laughs> she says, <laughs> Instagram message from Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It kills me every time. I'm not... And I'll start laughing, like, it because it, it always happens, like, when I'm at work. Yeah. And I'll start laughing, and people will just look at me. Which is that funny. is how you would pronounce it, like, if you're pronouncing it with the way our names sound, because it's yeah. Nicole. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's just yeah, it's funny. <laughs> I, I sort of want to go and put a British um <laughs> but I don't have Siri. I've got Bixby. It, Bixby's a pain in the ass. It's because see it's because the American yeah. like the original American like the original Siri voice annoys me. Mm. So I have to change it to something else. I I wish that they would like for years, Apple users have wanted them to give us like famous people as like, like, mm. just commission famous. Mm. People. And like, I would love to have like a Gordon Ramsay series that just like cusses at me every time we talk. <laughs> He's got an effing message. <laughs> Ding up. <laughs> Let me speak, speaking of rude people, like, <laughs> let me tell you what I don't like about Siri. Patrick had an iPhone. 
every time you'd be like, hey, Siri, this bitch is like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine does that too. So because I use, so I have my AirPods, right? So when I'm at work, if I'm like, if I can't like use my hands for something, mm -hmm. especially for like changing music, right? I'll just, I'll be like, like I'll trip her, right? So I'll say, hey, I can't say it because my phone will go off and I'm not dealing with it. But I'll be yeah. like, hey, and, she, and she'll go, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or she'll be like, or she, she started going, what? Or how can I help you? And I'm like, listen, ma'am. <laughs> Change the song. Like, you need to like by the by the like sixth time she says, mm -hmm. I'm like, you need to start saying yes, sir. To my Wait, husband. who are you? Like, who, who are you? I throw you across the No, room. but she'll she she'll say, she'll say, How can I help you? And then I tend to cuss her out because I'll tell her like I'll be like, like the other day, I told her, I said, play the boy or the boy. I said, play the song Boy Next Door by Devin. This chick played did that I all I hear is now playing Boy Next Door by Jody Sweden uh Sweetum from the Full House soundtrack. I said, that is not what I asked for. <laughs> Full House soundtrack. I think she's up. rude on purpose. Like, why would you even program her to be like, hmm? Hmm. She may as well go. <coughs> Just give me an umbrage voice at that point. Jeez. <laughs> um, I also, promise on the internet Jim, for you because I can't answer your questions on my own. Like, okay. Right. I'm not trying to be funny, but Jim Dale, his narration, dude. First of all, why does Luna Lovegood sound like she's 75 years old and she's been smoking? I so love Luna's that. voice. Also, every time that he does, he portrays a drunk person, he, <laughs> he literally sounds like he's been drinking on the job. You have to play that. <laughs> like, Luna sounds like she's smoked and she's 75. She sounds cut and play it into the box. It's so I, I will hear. because she literally sounds like she is seventy five years old. It's not then, quite as bad as I do it, but it is like it's then, really brusque, almost like an older man, like you would think an older man would sound. In this the, the part that we read tonight, where they go into the pensive, right into the orphanage or whatever, and the the orphanage lady is like drunk, like yeah, she drank too much sherry or whatever. That he, was that was. Yeah. Yeah. He What's did this. Name? He did this with freaking <laughs> yeah. Well, well, okay, yeah, Trelawney too. But he did. He did this with the Aunt Marge when he did Aunt Marge's voice too. He mm. literally sounds like he's about to fall off a chair. He sounds so drunk, <laughs> and he just he and he just like slurs everything. He hiccuped too, and he'll hiccup and he'll like laugh, and I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry. I thought what I thought was funny is not only did he hiccup, but he hiccuped and then he said he hiccuped. <laughs> he, read, he read the part too. He did. And, he like, he literally, and then he will switch his voice all of a sudden to like Dumbledore. And I'm like, excuse me. I love his Dumbledore Die. voice. Die. No, his Dumbledore voice is great. It's the women's voices that need the voice. I like McGonagall's voice too. Yeah, McGonagall's voice is. She funny. rolls her R's and stuff. Or but like the part Luna's where voice was, is my favorite. <laughs> or when they were sit, or when uh Mrs. Weasley was like listening to music at Christmas and he was like singing the song. I was like, sir. Oh, I'm glad I didn't have to endure that. <laughs> and he doesn't really sing it, he like speaks it in rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, but he like will hold certain notes so it can feel like he's singing it to you. And I'm like, yeah. I feel like he sang the hat song. He spoke the hat song in rhythm. He did not sing it. And then he like warbled at the end. He like held he like held a note at the end so it uh... felt like he was singing. <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't really singing. Yeah. <laughs> he was just being lyrical. He yeah, he was just lyrically speaking. Maybe you have to you you voxer the Luna voice. Yeah, I'll voxer the Luna voice. And then Nicole, for the next chatty bit, you should try your best to read all the comments in your ver your version of the Luna voice. 
I'll try. Uh, um, it might have to be early in the morning to do that because I have old lady's voice first thing in the morning. Oh, okay. Because if I if I box her, even <laughs> she always says, "Are you okay?" I do because she she sounds like she's she, it's a little throaty. She sounds like she's had a, a hard time. Like she sounds like she's had a. Like, <laughs> was like, "Did you gargle yogurt for breakfast?" <laughs> Listen, the first time she sent a message. Right after she had woken up, I was walking home from dropping Ari off at school when we lived in Indiana. And I, and I would literally text the boxer because it was windy. So like I couldn't send a message. And I was like, Nicole, are you okay? Like it, like she's, she's, she's very like, concerned. So rough. I was like, Are you okay? And she was like, Yeah, I've just woken up. And I, was like, okay. I felt bad for asking. I was like, Okay, I don't know if she's just woken up. I don't know if she's been crying. Like, do I need to fly to Australia? <laughs> beat up a kangaroo? Like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I stepped out of my door and I got mowed down by a kangaroo. <laughs> and the drop bear fell on top of me after I was down and went for went to town and I've woken up all, all fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, did she party too hard last night? Like I... <laughs> the, the first time it happened, like every, it's just about every time. Like this morning, I sent one through. Yesterday morning, I sent one through, and she goes, "Oh, you sound tired." I think you sound tired. <laughs> <laughs> Because I wake up and like I've got to stop doing that. Like, yeah. Honestly, this is why y'all don't get. This is what, how like when I first wake up, I just answer all the boxers with just like messages. Because I I also will have like a really like I don't know why my like I don't know if it's because we don't talk while we're sleeping, but my mm -hmm. voice also will deepen. Like mm -hmm. I sound like I've been smoking for twenty years when I first wake mm -hmm. up, and like it's to a point where like whenever I get you know that early morning phone call. I like cl will clear my throat like in the time it takes for him to like answer like for him to be like Hello. the older you get the I'll more like, clearing you have to do. I'll be like <laughs> like this and then all of a sudden he'll be like Hello? hack it up and spit it out. Yeah. He'll be like Hello. What right? else you do? Swallow it, gross. And he's like, I don't have anything to come up. It's just like it's just. Well, you gotta get it out of there. And he's like a man, right? He's he's a man, so like his voice is supposed to be like low and like gravelly. I don't really feel like as a woman with a relatively high register, my voice should be low and gravelly. So he'll be like, "Hello," and I'll like whisper almost. I'll be like, "Hello." <laughs> and like today, you know, I'm to understand why my husband didn't want me to talk to him first thing in the morning. Maybe because well, I sounded like a bloke. Well, today the poor man calls me. Right, him. The poor man calls me, and I had been sitting here. I don't know what I was doing, but something had like made my tear tug my tear ducts leak, aka cry. And so he called, and I see the phone call coming through. So I answer it, and then tried to make myself stop crying really fast because I was like about thirty seconds. Stop crying. Works. And he goes, hello? And I said, hey. And he goes, oh, my God, what's wrong? And, I said, <laughs> and he's like, you've been crying. What's wrong with you? And I was like, I'll just say, hey. I'll be fine. <laughs> and, he, and of course, ask me what's wrong. That's going to make me cry for sure. Oh, that just makes it. You never ask someone what's and wrong. And I was like. Just burst into tears on you. <laughs> I was like, I tried to stop crying before I answered the phone. And he was like, yeah, how did that work out for you? <laughs> that went well. <laughs> uh, Monica is officially off work and the day is over. That is awesome. Uh, Jocelyn read a chapter and going uh, going to head out. Thanks for the sprints. No worries. Thank you for being here. Uh, fingers crossed uh, you like Western Lane. I suspect it's going to be my favourite from the long list. Okay, interesting. I won't tell you what I thought then. Um, you know, just have to wait. <laughs> Go either way. Um, <laughs> Stevie, uh, only 16 pages left of Legendary. Hopefully you muted us because that was a while ago and you've got it read. Uh, I'm tu uh, turning. Start again. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Let me just get my mouth to work. Hello. I'm turning. I haven't been able to. Uh, tossing and turning, I assume. Haven't been able to sleep the last couple of nights. So I decided to turn in. Awesome. Well, welcome. Thank you for being here. 
Uh, I ate and wrote nothing <laughs> of my reports. Luna, this seems to be a trend for you today. Maybe tomorrow. Try again tomorrow. When's it due? <laughs> Monday, no doubt. <laughs> um, if, <laughs> if you're anything like me, it's probably Monday. <laughs> well, tomorrow is Saturday for Selena and I because Selena's in New South Wales. So, um, But, yeah, it's probably Monday or maybe 5 o'clock today. <laughs> I've done a few of those ones where it's like five o'clock. It's got to be in. Uh, listen to Cowboy Carter for the umpteenth time and also finish my writing project. Awesome. Nice and productive. I uh, got to 63% in fresh water by, oh, come on, Jamie. <laughs> what are you doing to me with these names? A wacky emazy? No, by a beautiful human being. Moving yeah, on. someone. <laughs> I like something. I can walk easy. All right, smarty pants. How would you say it? I just, I like, I, I like the way you say it. Akawaki look sounds good to me. <laughs> Aqua. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it's like nothing. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, get it. Uh, I'm sure. I think this is about. I think this is about my first check. My first paycheck. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Because I got my first paycheck. Yeah. I mean, was it very much? And absolutely not. Like, <laughs> no. But like, it's fine. Uh, Glenda is currently reading American Daughters by Maurice Carlos Ruffin. Ebook 71%. Awesome. Much better name. I can pronounce that one. Uh, Lynn's got to 243 in Jurassic Park and switched to Serpent and Night. A Serpent and the Night of Wings of Night. Oh my God. <laughs> Where I can read. Uh, I like the sequel better um, than Hermes Tale. Fair enough. Uh, happy yeah, reading. Uh, they were talking about having a cheat sheet on Discord for code words on Smutella. Ah, interesting. That's that'll go out the window pretty quick because uh, isn't code you want me to learn code <laughs> for dirty words, <laughs> honey. <laughs> this is why. This is why a lot. This is why like my. This is like an exact reason why my smut content is going to be on Patreon. Mm. Because I don't want to have to, because like. I'm not going to say a word. I'm just going to be like. I tr like, I truly do not want to have to figure out how to censor myself enough to put it on the yeah. main feed. Because okay. people, people wanted it on the main feed, like when I first started doing BookTube and like came out about reading smut. And my, the problem is that the way that you have to change wording for things can make it extremely confusing if no one's ever watched your video before. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Stevie has gone off to bed. Good night. Sleep well. Um, yeah, I wish myself luck too. I'm I'm actually autoing, doing the audio book because I don't have time. I've got other things that I've got to get done and 16 books is a lot, so... Uh, I'm in the same boat, Coda. Uh, I'm in the middle of so many longer books and I know in one week or so I'll be making so many finishes and feel accomplished. That's it. Like you'll just smash it out of the park. I've just taken 10 off the list. Done. <laughs> it's I only taken me six. Them. Yeah. <laughs> them on Instagram and then people are messaging because they also go to Facebook. People that are messaging me like, you read all those books in like five days? Like those are big books. <laughs> Yes, but I was reading them all this whole time. <laughs> what do you Today think I, I learned there is a Full House soundtrack. I uh, learned this too. I did not know that there was a soundtrack. So, yeah. yeah Let nice. me tell you what I learned last night that there was a soundtrack when I asked my assistant on my phone to please play A Boy Next Door by Devin, which is a great song. It's like, to the boy next door, something, I don't know, okay? But it's a great song. It's like her, like the way that that they market their band because they also wrote a song called 2002, which is literally just like like you heard the song 1985 by mm. um, Bowling for Soup. It's that song, but with 2002 references. 
Like they actually credit Bowling for Soup in the song, like on the song, like the credits. Mm -hmm, they put mm -hmm. featuring Bowling for Soup. Like they don't sing in it, but it's mm. their song, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. But it's like they market this, they market their band as being for people who grew up with like Avril Lavigne and Hillary Duff, like that kind of like grunge pop sound. Mm hmm. And the singer of the, like, the lead singer of the band actually kind of sounds like a mix between Hilary Duff and Avril Lavigne. So it just brings me all the nostalgia. But also, who needs a Full House soundtrack? Not me. Mm, me either. I'll, I'll, that's a hard pass from me. Uh, Rachel, has gone, <laughs> Rachel has gone to bed. Uh, yeah, like, we're fully entertaining ourselves. So, yeah, we'll have a fabulous, uh, wonderful stream. And I uh, hope you sleep well. And we will see you next time. And um, I've already read Western Lane. Uh, I read it last year and it was on the book of shortlist. Reread it. Uh, Reread it this year. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Well, you'll have to tune in for my last and final vlog for 2024 next week to find out what I thought. Um, and with that, is my there, friends. Is there different hey? criteria for the booker and the women's? Like how... How was it on a different list last year? Um, I don't know what the um, requirements are for the book. I've never really looked because I don't follow it. But some of the books can end up on the Booker Prize because, I mean, they're different prizes. I think the Booker is, I don't know, because there's the international Booker one as well. So I'm not 100% sure. Chris will be able to answer that during the um, sprint, no doubt. Uh, probably going to head off to bed for the um, next chatty bit. Thanks for the sprints. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Sleep well uh, and happy sprinting, everybody. And uh, with that, we're going to go to a sprint. And uh, are you hanging around, Kyra, or are you going to sleep? Yeah, I think I'll hang out for a minute. I'm still up and I'm going to work on that spreadsheet. So, Yeah, well, um, this will be the last sprint anyway because I've got to head out after 5 o'clock. So um, we're already at seven hours, almost seven hours. So, yeah. We usually do. Eh? Look at you guys staying for the whole lot. My goodness. All right, let's get to a sprint, shall we? All Great. Right. That means I can sleep before this person decides to call me at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> Just yeah. rude. How dare they? <laughs> the blasphemy would be that I get to, if I'll go to sleep, I'll be up at like 4 a.m. And I'll just be like, it's fine. I'll just stay up until 9.30. Then at 9.30 when they call and then they're like, Hey, love you, miss you, goodbye. I'll be like, good night. Go to bed. <laughs> good night. Farewell. <laughs> um, what is that from? The sound of music. So long. There you go. Farewell. Farewell. I'll be just saying good night. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped into my head, but anyway. Uh Western Line Seeb's devices. I noticed people um I noticed people who audio book it did not like it as much, and I noticed that someone who shall remain nameless, Chris, uh, was arguing with people about it in their streams. I love it. Shannon just comes in. I'm not going to drop any names. I love how she's a, a person who shall remain nameless. Chris. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, let's go to a sprint. <laughs> this all soon.
Hello, hello, we are back. How did we go? I finished the spreadsheet. <laughs> and I'm ready for bed now. I pulled the clothes out of the dryer, but I need to fold it's just towels, so I'm just <laughs> awesome. How'd you go, Neva? Um, I finished 33 unread voicemails, give it five stars. And I didn't like end the way I thought it was going to, but like it was it was cute, you know? I mean, as cute as a book about a breakup. I don't know. Like the whole book was like a misunderstanding trope, like a like oh, okay. communication trope, but like from the beginning of listening, what well, Ari? Um, it's not have her school day. Just like go down. I don't know, but it's like two o'clock in the morning. Go back to sleep. Um. Anyway, uh, and then I started something. I started. What is this book called? Uh. Coming Home by Kennedy Ryan. And Kennedy Ryan wrote, um, oh my god, I can't even think what the book is called right now. Hold on. Okay. Uh, shoot. She wrote, um, Before I Let Go. Mm -hmm. And this could be us. Um, but this is like a novella. So I'm listening to that. It's pretty, it's pretty fine. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like dual point of view, and there's no like sound effects, but I guess that's fine. Very partial to sound effects, apparently, for some reason. <laughs> uh, I read three chapters of Enter Ghost, uh, which is set in Palestine. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it right now because it's just waffling on with about her going home after not being there for 11 years or whatever and the house is sold and this and that and the other so it's too early to give a thought but right now I don't actually care uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's because I'm possibly tired and I probably should stop reading it today <laughs> and I'll see how I go um, and I also changed the kitty litter emptied the bin swept the floors and prepped to make uh, dal, Indian dal. Yay. Yeah, so that's all sitting out there. The, the lentils are soaking, all the vegetables are chopped, and then once I'm finished here, I can go out, put it on, and then I'm going to sit down and pig out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That sounds exciting. I was just thinking, like, I need to, like, order some snacks because there's no snacks in here. <laughs> like, there's food, but there's no snacks. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And after yeah. after I make dinner for dessert, I'm going to make – I've got two ripe bananas there, so I'm going to make some banana and oatmeal. Um, and I might even throw some oat, oatmeal um, biscuits and throw some dates in there just to pick. It's <laughs> narrowly off because <laughs> she'll come out to eat another thing and go off about them. But no, I don't know. Yeah, I'm about like, I have like 200. Oh, well, because I also ordered something that I can't mm -hmm. talk about right now, but I ordered things. Um, and I have like $200 for groceries, like for my grocery mm -hmm. budget. And I'm definitely like 100 of that is going to snacks. I don't even care. I've had, like, no snacks for, like, two weeks. And, honestly, it's the worst thing in life. I've actually, I've just, I said earlier that I've been swapping my snacks out. So I've got, like, green apples. And I like to eat green apples with peanut butter. Like, I cut them into fingers and I dip it in the peanut butter. I don't even, I don't, I don't even have that. But here's the thing. Sometimes I'm hungry. But I don't actually want to cook anything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just want to be able to, like, grab something and, like, lay down to eat it. Same. That's what I mean. I need oh snacks. God. I need like cookies and choke. That's what I'm saying. And like I'm not. I'm not trying to like stay in the kitchen for ten minutes and like make something. I'm trying to just like grab something and go back to bed. You know what I'm saying? I do. Nicole was like, "No, I eat fruit and vegetables because it's like, oh, I eat real food." <laughs> 
not all the time. Don't don't confuse me with a coconut because not all the time. Sometimes I walk down the grocery aisle and I'm going, I'll have some of that. But see, I, I prefer popcorn, so I make my own. I've got an air popper. Um, so I just always got popping corn in the cupboard. So if I want a snack, I just, because it gives me the crunch, it also gives me the salt. And if I want to get real tricky, I get some icing sugar and sprinkle that and shake it up and, and with the salt so it's sweet and salty. Mm. I'm about to go buy it's some good. popcorners. <laughs> it's like popcorn, but in a chip. Yeah. They're like the best and things known to man. I get the kettle corn ones. Oh my God, they're so good. And Ari won't eat them because she doesn't like kettle corn. So I get all I'm with Ari. So someone, from, someone from the States sent me some, some, oh no, that's candy corn, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's gross. No, kettle corn is like sweet and salty. Like kettle corn. It's yeah, like, it's like sweet and salty. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, no, I just I got them mixed up. Every time someone says <laughs> anything that they not eat candy corn. Of the corn, and I think candy corn, and I'm like that 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 shish is disgusting. What? I prefer the pumpkin. That it's disgusting. Yeah, but I I do like I mean I like candy corn, but um but Ari doesn't like uh kettle corn at all because she doesn't she calls it sweet popcorn she doesn't like it so I get what? the. She just likes, you know, buttered popcorn. So mm -hmm. I get the kettle, the kettle corn popcorners, and then I get the whole bag. I mean, will I eat the whole bag in one sitting sometimes? Okay. But they're delicious, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah, I just, I, I make a lot of my stuff. Like, I make a really nice chocolate slice, which gives me, like, uh, like a, it's, it's a crunchy, biscuity type. Might make some of that tonight, too. Hmm, my Wi-Fi just kicked in for some reason. Um, yeah, so basically I'm like, yeah, I'll just make some stuff and then I've got snacks there. So, yeah, and I know what's in it and then I know that I'm not going to get a headache. That, that's what scares me about snacks. Like I know that there are particular snacks that I can eat that don't affect me, but if they go and change the recipe, I'll get headaches from it. So I do know that my best friend from high school, who's basically my sister, because she was basically like adopted anyway by my mom and my sister. Anyway, she made scotcheroos the other day and she freaking posted a picture on her Facebook. And I was like, listen, how much do I have to pay you for scotcheroos? And she was like, if they're just for you, like a single batch, she was like, you don't have to pay me anything. So next week she's having her husband bring me scotcheroos. And if you don't know what scotcheroos are, which you probably don't, because you're not, not from Iowa. They mm -hmm. are like Reese. They're like um not not Reese's. They're like Rice Krispie treats, but they're pita butter, and then they have chocolate mm -hmm. like over the top of them. I know what those are. Yeah, Scotcheroos. So, yeah. but she makes like you can buy them at the gas station, but they come in like like bite sized pieces. She makes like full size like bars. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. I'll probably give you like what. Yeah, sure. Uh, Glenda was saying good night to Christina. Uh, I have no responses to Shannon's comment except I plead innocent to all charges. Uh, and if you're wondering what that is, that is what the comment was. Oh, and and this because is Chris's said response. The person, yeah. a person who shall not well, be named, shall remain right. nameless. <laughs> Um, have fun, folks. Uh, good morning, Miss Virtue. How are you? I, I forget by this time of the day, I've forgotten everybody's names. You see, we just go by your tag name. Sorry. Uh, the Booker and the Women's Prize have some requirements, so must be published in the UK or Ireland, uh, within a certain time frame. A women's um, WL came out in time. Oh, Western Lane came out in time last year for bookers, uh, for the booker. That's why it's on there, and but was eligible for the women's prize this year. Right. Okay. So just yeah, right in, the, in between. Yeah, it just depends what the so the women's prize for fiction has to be published between the first of April twenty twenty three and the thirty first of March twenty twenty four. Cannot be a short story, form of poetry. Obviously, has to be fiction. Has to be. Um, I think it's eighty thousand words or more. Um, so no story, short story collections, no essays or anything um, can, is the criteria for that. 
the women's prize for fiction, I know, but I don't know what the requirements are for the booker. Uh, probably around the same sort of thing, but they're. I think the booker is uh, from the middle of the year. I think is the required like when it has to be published. So yeah, so That's from last year to yeah. I think. Don't quote me on that. Chris probably know better than me. Uh, ML has popped in. Hello. Glad I catch you all, to, even if it's just the last uh, second, for a, a second after a long day at work. I'm reading Lost Girls. It's a YA vampire book, and I'm having having fun so far. Also, she said, she said, she sent me a message about this last night, and she said that the main character also works at Taco Bell. I'm about to, I'm about to read this book. Yeah, well, and I also really want TB. So I'm assuming you don't want TB, the lung disease. You want Taco Taco Bell. Taco, Taco Bell. <laughs> that was not so. come out of Taco. That's a thing on a car. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, I like want. I, wa I seriously want to read this just because it's a It's a the main character of the vampire who works at Taco Bell. I just want to know how that works. You know what I'm saying? Well, Brendan, and, Brendan, and I were talking last night, and he goes, "I think I might go because we're talking about books." And he sends me a message, he goes, I think I might revisit uh, True Blood. I'm like, oh, cool, books or show? And he goes, the books. I'm like, oh, my God, really? <laughs> he never rereads books, ever. Never, ever. That's cool. I still need yeah. to. I've only read the first, like, three or four. I think maybe the first four. Oh, if you want to start over again, let me know because I love that series. Like, it's okay. my favourite series. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have fun with you on that one <laughs> for sure. Um, I came over to tap the like button. Well, thank you. I don't know whose like button you were tapping, whether it's mine or Neva's, but thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Uh, Elena finished her book. Um, wishing everybody, thanks, Faye. Wishing everybody a wonderful evening and day. Finished one book and a third of the way through. Awesome. And another one. 25 pages in, 5% into my book and read four chapters. Thank you for the sprint. Elena, you're up late or early. Like, yes, yeah, so I she just go to bed at like 8.30 or 9.30 my time. <laughs> yeah, like what time is it your time? It's 1. Mm, and you're still awake? Oh, my goodness. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, oh, hang on. I've missed one. There we go. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. And same to you. Almost finished with a fresh water, probably 4.75 stars. Excellent. You're kicking goals there, Jamie. Just smashing your way through those books. Uh, got halfway through Renaissance and finished my writing project. Now to draft the next one. Excellent. That was nice and productive. Uh, Kennedy Ryan wrote Before I Let Go. Yeah. Uh, they're all telling you now because <laughs> we're behind. Uh, did you read the suicide book? No, not yet. It's my last one. Uh, read another 30 pages pages of Serpent and Wings of Night. This is on my TBR. It keeps calling me every time I walk past the shelf. It's the only book that keeps standing out to me, and I'm like, no, not yet. I have them to do. <laughs> Uh, you guys are still going. Uh, lovely to wake up to your faces. Well, hello. <laughs> uh, read more of Vera Wong's unsolicited advice for murderers. I, I love this title. This I, I know. I love this title. Like, I so need to I read really, it. I really do like her auntie series, mm -hmm. which I know she, I think she just had a new one come out in that series, or maybe there's a new one coming out soon. I don't know. I know there's another one coming out or it just came out. I don't remember which. Um, but I really, uh, yeah, I, I really like her auntie series. So. Uh, ML fills you on the snacks. You no, know, I ordered some of these. So like uh, on the airplanes here, on some of the airplanes here, they serve you like these waffle cakes. It's like, I don't know, even know how to do I know what you're talking about. Waffle with honey or chocolate. It's squished in the middle, but it's mm -hmm. like a biscuit. <clears throat> um, yeah. I ordered the the pack that comes with the three different flavors on Amazon. So I'm going to have biscuits at least in the house in the next few <laughs> days. Uh, is the situation better with the roommate, Neva? And have you two got in an argument yet? Agreed. She means an agreement. That's an agreement. agreement, sorry. 
Rose argument. Law. <laughs> I figured <laughs> argument. I just read the AG and went with argument. In order for us to come to an agreement, I'd have to talk to the woman. So, mm. no. That, that'd be a no. Um, and also, she did get told today because her cigarette smoke triggers my migraines, and I bitched about it to my dad. Um, so, he said that he spoke to her today and said that she either needs to learn how to open up the window all the way on the back porch or she needs to go smoke on the front porch because like our front porch like the front door is there so like you shut the front door so the smoke won't walk in but on the back yeah. porch if you don't open the window all the way to like fully ventilate the whole back porch then all of the cigarette smoke after you open the back porch door comes into the house and it like walks through the back half of the house which includes my room Mm-hmm. So, okay. and because he was like, you don't have any migraine medicine, and I was like, even if I did have my migraine medicine, um, her cigarette smoke would still make it so that I wake up with a migraine every day. And I was like, mm-hmm. and then everybody wonders why I'm grouchy, and that's why. I don't think we're coming to an agreement, to be honest. So, Anytime soon, maybe fine. an argument. Like I said, uh, maybe I was foreshadowing. Maybe I mean an argument is probably more likely than an agreement. Oh, <laughs> Fisty <cuff. laughs> Get the little robots out. <laughs> Neither gonna kick a vampire's ass. <laughs> Fully. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Snacks are essential staples. Yeah. Um, a popcorn is also good. I love white cheddar flavor. Nice. I like white cheddar almost anything. Especially the ridgy Cheez Its. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These are all snacks that Ooh, I have not about, so I can only go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to get the extra toasty Cheez Its. Those are my favorite. The burnt ones? Yeah. They're my favorite. The extra toasty. Oh my God. It's just my like a cheese, cheese cracker. My mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, but like the extra toasty ones are like, basically, they're like, it's like they left them in the oven too long. So. They're kind of like burnt on the edges. Oh, God. They're so good. Uh, Glenda got to page 148, 72% of American daughters. Uh, Thank you, Nicole, Neva, and Coda for hosting. Uh, I will have the uh, great rest of my day, which is going to involve me sitting on the couch doing nothing. (laughs) Uh, And good night to everybody else and see you all on Katie Sprints. See you there. (laughs) A Japanese yam with Greek yogurt and a cup of low sodium vegetable broth would, broth would be a good snack. Shannon, what did we do to you? What? <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? A Japanese yam with Greek I'm, yogurt. I'm not and saying a, that no. it would be bad, but I'm not preparing all of that for one thing. And why are we putting vegetable broth in our yogurt? Cool. I'm sorry. That sounds bad. It's different. Oh, it's separate. Right? <laughs> a cup of low sodium vegetable broth like would be beverage. Yes, yeah, a cup oh, of soup. No, no. no. Don't you have like cup of soup? My sweet yam and my yogurt, man. Yeah, but it'd be it'd be separate, separate, separate it's dishes in a in a plate. Why? Nice. I get that it's separate, but like you're washing down your yogurt with vegetable broth. But also. It's no different than miso soup. But I'm not drinking miso soup after yogurt. And here's the thing, okay? I'm definitely not. I'd rather have vegetable broth than miso soup after yogurt. <laughs> I'm not funny, but also, I'm not doing low sodium, okay? Full sodium or go home is my fault. It's true. It doesn't even said it all. <laughs> Yes, but you know, when you get in your fifties, people, just just a FYI, your body doesn't um, react very well to these high just an sodium. FYI, I'm gonna look like Uncle Vernon in my fifties. I've already come to establish this, so it's fine. I sweat <laughs> enough that I need to replace the salt anyway. That part, yeah, too. No, that's fair. And that's honestly, fair. I, I don't do lo- I don't do low sodium anything, but I know that like. I should. And <laughs> my honestly, doctor says I should. If I'm in a relationship yeah. in my I don't 50s, have high blood pressure. I've just got cholesterol. So um, if, if I salt my ramen. So <laughs> I do. Here's the here's the thing. If I'm in if I'm in a relationship in my fifties, which I mean I hope to be, you know. <laughs> but if I am by then, you know, he's also going to be old, and so it's going to be fine. We're just going to look old and maybe fat together. <laughs> 
uh, buy to Glenda. Oh, my no. my easy snack right now oh, are pizza pies, which I take I take about a minute in the microwave to heat up. Uh, seven to eight of them. I can't. Awesome. Do I love chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are my go to snack. Yeah. I usually have bags of them in the, like a couple of bags or some fries and i just chuck them in the air fryer and they're ready in 10 minutes here's the thing so I... just basically dump turn it on come back eat and then i usually have like sour cream and um sweet chili sauce to dip them in mm. i <laughs> it, i enjoy like pizza rolls but they have to be made i don't do them in the oven i mean in the microwave because they're like squishy those are so, like yeah. No. And we don't have an air fryer right now. Yeah. So that means that I'm gonna have to buy one. Um, kind of like when all they had was a four cup size, uh, or not four, whatever. They have like a small coffee mm -hmm. maker, so I bought a Keurig. Mm -hmm. So I mean when I move out, the Keurig's going with me. But I'm also gonna buy an air fryer from pizza rolls. Yeah. And for my chicken nuggets and for my mm -hmm. fish sticks. Mm -hmm. So I'd like fish sticks. Baked potatoes are hella good out of there. They really are. I mean, honestly, everything is good in an air fryer. Like, let's just be real. Um, but if I buy an air fryer, that sucker's going with me when I move to. They're gonna lose sure. so much when I leave. I'm gonna buy the stuff and then I'm gonna um, like, I'm moving this with me. Goodbye. They've just changed the flavor of Pringles. I'm not impressed either. This is news to me, and they better not have because um, I'll, I'll have to have one and see if it gives me a headache because I like Pringles. I can yeah, actually which, eat them. Which flavor, Dee Dee? Oh, which flavor? Mm. Is she saying it's? they changed the recipe for her favorite flavor? Sour cream. When I worked at the, um, at the casino, they used to have them in like a and um in the bar and we'd go in and if we wanted a snack we'd pop the top and just break it a little bit oh they opened it up <laughs> but we wouldn't do it like in customers rooms or anything it'd be because when you become a permanent housekeeper you get rooms that you've got to clean and if they haven't been in you've got to do a service on them anyway like go in and make sure everything is okay <laughs> and oh they pop oh well if we get to eat them <laughs> Uh, I like my un, uh, unsweetened probiotic cashew vegan yogurt with a little date syrup. It's very filling. The date syrup in in, in cashew yogurt's nice. I have be had honest, that. Y'all way too freaking healthy for me. Absolutely the fuck not. Y'all would probably throw up at what I eat because I did. I'd be eating the most like processed, unhealthy crap. I, just... I, I make this vegan sauce that I make, um, and I can't remember where I got it from. It was off a YouTuber, but I can't remember which YouTuber it was. But it's um, potato and red bell pepper with garlic and onion powder in it, and you blitz it all up and you turn it into sauce and you put it. It's so good. Like add good. a little bit, add a little bit of chili, but it's just made with potato and like you. So it's a, a runny sauce with a bit of water, and it's so good with all the flavorings in it but i, I just, like a little bit of heat to my sauces so i put a little bit of chili in it that wasn't required so i just also want to say because it keeps popping on my freaking instagram and you see um if anyone cares oj sent some guy yesterday i don't care may he rot honestly um but it keeps popping up i keep getting like memes on my instagram and like like reels of people like there was, i just saw a reel on my instagram of this guy who's like wow so sad that we lost oj simpson today who's next casey anthony Anthony, which we don't know who casey anthony is she's a monster okay huh? an american monster anyway coda do you know who casey, casey anthony is she no. like um, she, I don't know why her daughter, like, 2008, I think. Because the case was during, in, like, 2010. Because I've driven down the street. That I'm her sure you probably heard started. about it, but just put she, it out. I'm... She, like, she, I mean, she got off, but it happened in Florida. Of course it did. Because that's where everything happens. Um, but it happened in Florida. But, like, the baby was missing for, like, um, a whole month before she like said anything. I think I do remember hearing about it. Yeah, but anyway, but I keep seeing that where I see like memes where it's like, uh, 
Whereas, like, O.J. Simpson died. Are we having a party? Which, like, that's rude, kind of, but... Party, 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 well, you party. told me this morning, and I'm like, I didn't know what to say, and I just like, am I? I really did. I was, I was like, oh, Nicole, just so you know, OJ Simpson died, and she was like, okay, and I was like, I mean, not that I care. She's like, oh, okay. I, she's like, did you want me to care? Because <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I said okay. no, because actually, what I said, because she said, I said, oh, Nicole, OJ Simpson died, and she kind of like looked at me. She just looked at me blankly, and I was like, <laughs> That's I was like, um. Couldn't that happen to a nicer dude? And she's like, oh, okay, so you didn't want me to care. And I was like, I mean, you can care if you want. I don't know. Because I, I, I actually don't care. <laughs> like, good riddance to bad right. The trash took itself out. <laughs> I mean, he here's my thing. For as terrible a person he was, he lived a long time. He was 76 years old. So. Mm. But yeah, well, you know, they say the good die young. He wasn't I'm good. As, I'm, I'm as wicked as wicked as can be. I'm going to live forever to be on my children. <laughs> uh, um, uh, I don't drink. I don't drink as many snack drinks as I used to because uh, they keep um, adding. Yeah, how do you say that? Sucralos to the recipe. I can't even say it. Like, if you can't say it, you shouldn't be having it. <laughs> they keep adding su sucralose. sucralose. Yeah. Which tastes awful. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, good work, Kata. Lasting as long as you have tonight. A late one for you. Thanks for keeping me company at work and reading today, friends. No worries. Uh, the Booker has a graphic novel on the long list this year. Oh, oh one year, sorry. And people lost their shit. <laughs> There's been no, no graphic. I tell you, the people that read um, get very passionate about the book International and the Women's they were Prize. They said that a graphic novel was on there for sure. Hmm. Uh, Nicole, are you and Neva going to Margaret Sprints on Saturday? I will be on Margaret Sprints on Saturday morning. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. Um, and then I Saturday have, morning, your time. Saturday morning, yeah. your time. She, so she's starting at 9 a.m., I think. Oh, yeah, I'll be asleep. Um, but then I am going to still do my sprints at 2 p.m. because I talked mm -hmm. to her today and I was like, Do you want me to cancel? And she was like, Do whatever you want because I knew a, I knew before she announced that this was happening. Like, she announced mm -hmm. What's it for? She, so every month she does a sprint extravaganza. She started doing it in. January, I think. Mm -hmm. or February. Oh, okay, yep. Um, is that is, like where everybody's ten to twelve track? hour? Yeah, it's her like ten to twelve hour stream that she does just on her channel, and people come and go as they want. But yeah. I didn't want to like overrun her thing, but like also I've been doing the Saturday afternoon sprints, mm. and she was like, "You can do whatever you want." Also, for Patreon, I have a fun announcement coming very soon because I uh, Katie sent me the dates later, so we're doing something mm -hmm. really fun with Katie mm -hmm. for this month. So. Because Katie saw my post and then she came into my DMs and she was talking about, you're always welcome to do fun things with me. So that just might be what y'all get this month. <laughs> because I can make myself get up to do things with other people. I don't seem to be able to get myself up to do things by myself. So That's fair. That's fair. That's okay. You know what I mean? Well, you got me, mommy. Yeah, I got you too, kid. Now go to sleep. You know. <laughs> Love you. I have to rebuy the box set for True Blood as uh, my set isn't complete and now they've all changed. Yeah. I have them all on my Kindle. Mm hmm I have almost all of them. So I, I could read them. The, like the last two, maybe three. I think I'm missing one because I one I read on ebook, and I think I'm missing one because they changed the covers. I was getting the black mm. covers, and then they come out with this this bloody rainbow set, yeah. and that's what I got for one of the last ones, which is on my. But the, some of the places I go to get um, books. They have all the black ones, so I'm gonna. I've got to replace one that Mia thought it'd be a good idea to pull it all apart. Um, so I could replace it. she was like a little little baby. Aww. She didn't know that. She didn't know then. She was like six months old. Like she didn't know. I have all the original covers of the cartoons on. I don't have those. 
Uh, ventilated while smoking in someone's house so they don't get a migraine is like minimal accessibility. I agree. Like, it's just rude. Like, just because you've got a filthy habit. All right. Somebody else wants it. Sorry to all those that smoke. That's not what happens. I used to smoke myself. I don't agree with that. <laughs> But anyway, let's each to their own. Um, but that's what he goes. Just because you're filthy habit, I don't need to have it. And I'm like, okay. I gave up smoking 25 years ago, 24 years ago. Yeah. Uh, Taco Bell and work. Uh, this is for that book. And, it's a um, bad rap, but it might still be fun. Also, the whole main problem with Taco Bell is not that well for a long time. I mean, here's the thing Taco Bell is not that hard of a place. Like, it's not a bad place to work because it's like not hard. It's just when you work with incompetent people like me, because some of my crew is pretty incompetent, uh, you literally want to beat them up. You know, especially when an 18 year old looks at you and says, oh, I'm 18 and I'm an adult because I argue with adults. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But OK, it's the definition of a child and I said, child as well. I said, I said <laughs> if you were an adult and you wouldn't argue with other adults and he was like, what do you mean? I was like, you would just walk away. Oh, so you would point? come to a compromise. And yeah. I was like, if they don't have to listen to what you need to say, then you just walk away. Like, you don't keep arguing with the person. Like, what are you doing, bro? And even talking about, like, arguing with teachers, which, mind you, I went to this school that's here in town. Like, I went to the high school here in town. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, talking to teachers like that. You know? This is why you're not very smart, because you don't listen to your teachers. I'm just saying. So, it was sour cream. I was right. And it's my favorite as well. Miss Virtue. Mm. That's just rude. Um, Jamie likes Greek yogurt with maple syrup swelled in. I do too. That's very nice. I usually drop some nuts and stuff in it as well. I haven't tried it with maple syrup. I like it with honey. Mm. Maple syrup's really nice. I, I used to do honey and then I swapped to maple syrup because it's nicer. Um, it was a graphic novel called Sabrina. <laughs> it was very good, better than some of the regular books. The snobs had meltdowns and wrote Booker. The Booker has been insulted. <laughs> Pink pieces. <laughs> oh, I, got a lot of uh, I plan to spend a lot of Saturday on screens, at least keeping them up in the background. Awesome. Yeah, uh, I'll be running the Dewey's readathon from 6 a.m. Saturday through the 6 a.m. Sunday this weekend. Oh, yeah, it's a 24 hour mm -hmm. readathon. My family genetics is not great, so I decided to change what I eat rather than take a lot of medications. I'm the same. Fair enough. That's fair. Taking a lot of medications uh, ain't good for your kidneys and your liver. Yeah. Uh, I have the black set, but um, but it's the show tie-ins. So, oh, yeah. Job set to buying new covers and just paying the space. Fair enough. Fair I'll enough. tell mine next time we sprint for you. Mm -hmm. They're uh, they're cute. They all have little cartoon illustrations on the front. Cool. And thanks for being here again, Chris. And with that, we have got to twice. <laughs> we have got to the bottom, and it's only been in the last two hours that we've done that. But anyway, <laughs> we are um, done for today. We will be back. Oh, well, Neva will be back to uh, Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. Central. Is that right? Cool. Look at me go, getting it right. <laughs> um, we might, I mean, if people are available, we might do chatty bits, which would technically be later tonight at like mm -hmm. 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. But I don't know who is available. Yeah, for those Monday. of us who haven't been to bed yet, that's tomorrow night. <laughs> Right, so for, the, for those who haven't been to bed, that's like this tomorrow night, Friday at 11 p.m. Central Time, which would be Saturday morning, 12 a.m. Eastern Time. So if we decide that we're doing that, then I'll schedule it, but I haven't scheduled it because I I can't do chatty just by myself. That would be really boring. Then we would actually have to read, you know what I mean? Then it's a sprint. <laughs> if no one yeah, shows, then, it's a sprint. Would have to if if people sprint. show, it'll be chatty bits. <laughs> if no one shows up, then I have to actually sprint. So, yeah. 
I could maybe go for a little while. I don't know if I'd be able to go super late because. I mean, Chatty Bitch. Be up at eight on Saturday, so. Yeah, Chatty Bitch recently has only been like a couple hours anyway, so. Mm. We'll figure it out and decide. Yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. We talk every day. <laughs> right. We're going to talk in five minutes. What are you talking about? Know, like, yeah, we're we're going to spend eight and, and a half hours together. We're, we're going to and spend another four hours talking. We're going like, to literally get off of here. We'll talk behind the scenes. And then we'll get off of behind the scenes. And we'll talk in the boxer. That's basically yep. how this happens. <laughs> My ass is going to bed. <laughs> but I always talk back in the boxer in the morning when I wake up and you guys yeah. are asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you get so your yeah, bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <You're asleep. laughs> Coda's not answering. Why is Coda not answering? <laughs> or, or we get drunk Coda coming home from the pub telling us how freaking cold it is. Yeah, <laughs> and me and the boy are like, Oh, it's normal time for us. <laughs> I, know, I know him. What? <laughs> On that note, we are there's a whole heap of comments now because I'm in a different page. Um uh what's the chat schedule of this week? Oh, that's for chat schedule. The chat schedule this week. Um Chat Chatty Bits, is chatty it? Or? Would be tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow yeah. at this like two hours before this time right now. <laughs> Yeah, so it would be Friday, Friday at 11 p.m. Eastern, or 11 p.m. Central, Central, Saturday morning, 12 a.m. Eastern, because mm -hmm. I didn't move the time for that. Mm -hmm. Every time we do Chatty Bits, that's when it will be, but we also have to figure out when we're doing Unhinged Podcast, because that will fall at, probably at the time that we would normally do Chatty Bits, so mm -hmm. we'll figure it out and decide. Mm -hmm. and anybody Crystal tomorrow can catch me on um, Smetella. Because I'll be over there at 1 p.m. my time. So whatever. Mm -hmm. that, it's uh, 3 Eastern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, take care. Uh, I did notice that Chris did not admit calling out someone on the live stream or not for reading Western Lane. Um, <laughs> that's funny. On that note, we're going to bid you farewell and we will see you somewhere on the internet. Uh, where that will be, probably on Nevis for me, but um, Coda's just all over the place. I'm sure any sprint that you go to, Coda will pop in or Neva will pop in. Um, I, however, do sleep, so. <laughs> I sleep. I just sleep for, like, five hours. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the same. Like, I left your stream. I went to I went to bed. Like, I left your stream at 2 o'clock my time. I didn't go to sleep until 4, and then I was awake at 8.30. Yeah, that's I upload be, so. And it doesn't I matter how early and stuff. I go to bed. I yeah. still wake up at the same time. So. Yeah, same. Like, mm -hmm. I still only sleep for four or five hours when I go to sleep, if I go to sleep. Um, that, and I could have very well stayed up. I actually forced myself to go to sleep. So I don't know what was in the water, but anyway. And on that note, we're going to say goodbye. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to smash the like. Leave a comment if you watched the replay. I probably should say that at the beginning. And thank you to everybody that was on Neva's channel as well today. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.